I'm here with Rick Hansing, and we are calling the first game of the season. It is going to be your Heritage Hall Chargers against the Millwood Falcons. Rick, tell me a little bit about what you're expecting tonight. Man, I'm expecting uh, fast pace. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting a great game. You know, we lost to them last year over third place. And uh, it was a great competitive game with, you know, D1 players all over the field last year. And uh, I just think that uh, – I, I think we'll have that on our mind. Uh, Millwood will obviously want to defend that, you know, the victory they had last year. And coaches always say that revenge isn't a good motivator, but we'll have it in the back of our mind. I bet we have all – just about this whole hurt, preseason. <laughs> All right, let's go straight to our uh, Fuzzies feature player of the game. That's going to be Philip Smitherman. Uh, he is a senior, and he is a great athlete. Tell us a little bit about him, Rick. Man, I'll tell you, he is, he's, a, he's a game changer on both sides of the ball. He's going to play safety. He's going to go both ways. Uh, he's going to play some – he's going to play some – I think they're going to put him everywhere, actually, Mark. I bet he's in backfield some, carrying the ball some. He's really good on reverses, uh, things like that. Uh, he's uh, been voted by a uh, captain by his teammates, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, you know he's he's uh, he does he does everything very well. He hits hard. He runs fast. He's very physical. He plays with passion. That's one thing about Philip is he has a lot of passion, and uh, that passion really comes out in, of him in the best way. And it comes out as as an example of a leader the, the way he leads. But it also comes out in hustle. I've never seen the kid. I've never seen the kid take a playoff. Right. He plays basketball. He plays. You know he's just a great athlete. He is a great athlete. He's going to go. Uh, uh to play football at Harvard next year, which will be—I mean, they're they'll, outstanding. They'll be glad to get him there. You know, he's—he's he's just the right. He's the right size for that conference. He's the right amount of speed, uh, uh, speed and size for that conference. And uh, I was just telling you before, I'm so old. I remember when Michael Dorner played there. He's he graduated in 05 from here, but he's—they're—they're uh, they're the same kind. They're—they're they're really kind of same kind of player. I mean, Michael Dorner carried the ball, played defense. You know, we've. We've had a, we have a lot of good two-way players here, obviously. You know, wherever you want to put him, he's going to make a play. Yeah, and Philip's yeah. so fun to watch when he gets a ball in his hand. It's exciting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I wonder if they'll, uh, you know, put him back on kickoff returns or maybe punt returns. I know they've done that in the past. Right. Uh, I don't know if they'll, you well, know, I don't know if they'll do that. Risk it this year. Yeah, he's yeah, so yeah, yeah. He, he'll, yeah, he'll be very, very valuable. He'd be one of the. He'd be one of the players that uh, you don't ever want to get anybody hurt, but uh, you know, he'd be one player that uh, we would be really, really unfortunate to lose. All right, we will uh, go to our first commercial break, and we'll come back to the keys of the game. When you walk into Fuzzy's Taco Shop, you'll know you're in the right place. With the best Baja-style menu in town, we'll have the whole family addicted. Order up. Nachos, tacos, burritos, it doesn't matter. It's like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. We know you've had a long day, and you deserve a break. So, bring the crew to one of the Fuzzy's Taco Shop locations in Norman, Oklahoma City, or Stillwater. Welcome to your new addiction. You're going to find a whole lot to love right now during truck trading time at Joe Cooper Ford. You can trade your keys for the keys to a new truck. Then Joe will beat any other dealer's best deal by $500 guaranteed. Get more for your trade-in, lower your monthly payment, and make no payment for 90 days. Plus, we believe in service after the sale. When you bring your new Joe Cooper Ford in for service, you'll get a courtesy loaner car and a car wash. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Come see us at Joe Cooper Ford. Our Star Spangled Banner sung by uh, 
some of the children in the choir and some of the alumni from the choir. Yeah, that sounded great. Yeah, very well done. They've uh, they've stayed with it after school. Yeah. <laughs> <They've> <laughs> A continued, few years of they've practicing. Ca they've continued singing. Yeah, it sounded great. Uh, all right, so today our Mercedes-Benz of Oklahoma City, uh, their keys to the game uh, are going to be uh, manage uh, the big physical offensive and defensive line. They've got some uh, really big guys uh, for the Millwood Falcons, and uh, I know Heritage Hall wants to try to their best to see if they can control the line of scrimmage on both sides. Yeah, that I mean, that's going to be uh, – I, I think one of our strengths, Mark, is our offensive and defensive line. They Probably most of those guys are going both ways. Uh, so they're going to, and pro, and most of their most of their line will go both ways too. So they'll, right. they'll, they're going to be seeing a lot of each other, right? Whether <laughs> they like it or not. Uh, and uh, I know Coach Boger wants to set the tone physically on both sides of the ball, kind of what we're talking about. Uh, definitely try to contain their quarterback. He is uh, a great athlete, as there are a handful of them on uh, Millwood's uh, team, and we got to look out for all of them. But that QB, when he breaks containment, he can uh, run for a lot of yards. Yeah, I guess that's take away the edge. I guess defensively. Uh, I, are we talking about the edge, 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 like take away the, the like not let him get outside the or, yes, or that's the way I'm taking it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the way I'm looking at it too. Yeah. Yeah. So we want containment is, is what we're trying to say yeah, there. I think. Definitely. Watch the quarterback. I, I, I want to see if he can throw, but don't let him run. I know right. he can run. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now coach Bogert's been working on it, uh, uh, with the guys a lot about it. Like you said, revenge and the motivation, but by the way, don't forget what happened last year. Let's go out and take it to him. Uh, they've got athletes everywhere, um, and they run a defense uh, a little bit similar to ours. Uh, they're not afraid to blitz our quarterback, so we're going to have to be very sound on the offensive line as well. Yeah, they're you know they're, they've got a championship pedigree. They lost in the playoffs last year to Vianne, I think, which shocked me that they lost after watching them play us. And then yeah. kind of uh, you know, I always have I always have my eye on Millwood. I mean, I watch you know I always look for who they play. I look for their scores, and I mean it's just a team that it's just a team that. That, that everyone in the metro area, you know, they're very, we're very familiar with them. And the reason we are is because they do. They do have a championship pedigree, and they, you know, they do a lot of, they do a lot of winning, and uh, they, uh, they're always in the playoffs. Yep. They're always taking it to the next level. So yep. um, I think it's, I think it's, I think, I think it's, I think it's, uh, will develop into a really good rivalry yep. just yep. because yep. both teams are always so good, and everybody knows it. Yep. I mean, they were state champs. Millwood was in 2016, 2017. Lost in the second round, as you mentioned. Uh, coached by Darwin Franklin, his seventh season. He's 66 and 11, uh, which is very impressive. 85 percent uh, winning percentage. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I think his dad was the. I think uh, I think his dad was the coach there, Mark, forever. I really think he was. Uh, uh, that I, sounds familiar, but I yeah. cannot swear that. I believe. Yeah, him. I think he was. Uh, we've got Coach Brett Bogert here, who is in his fifth season, 53-2. and two, His impressive record at 96%. His dad was definitely the coach here. Uh, before, <laughs> yeah, we uh, can't say that. Uh, and he's still know. here. Uh, yeah. And he's still here. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Millwood uh, had a 39-game win streak broken last year, and then we had our own 38-game win streak, 2014-2016, uh, uh, that ended up coming to an end in the uh, playoffs a couple years ago, and we were back-to-back -back state champs. You know, Mark, another thing. Do you, re do you remember watching last year's game and how many kids cramped? Yeah, yeah. All of the – I mean, it seemed yeah. like that game got over with like at 11 o'clock. And it seemed like every time one of our players or one of their players got a cramp, they were on the furthest away part, portion of the field away from the bench. The, the right. trainers always had to go over to the other side. And then when they had to come off, obviously when you got a cramp, you can't move very fast. So, you right. know, you're kind of – you're limping over to the sideline. So, uh, I remember even their, their uh, public address guy, their announcer over there was great last year. He was like – Come on, boys. Let's have some – everybody drink some Gatorade. Yeah, let's get right. this game over with. You know, you guys keep cramping. So. Well, there's a lot of turnovers, <laughs> a lot of the penalties. It was the first game of the season, and yeah. uh, uh, it was not the cleanest game. But, yes, it took a long time with all, all of that it, going on. It did. It did. Yeah, weather was great, though. It was hot, but it was just kind of like tonight. It was, you know, just a great night for high school it football. Did. When the sun goes down, it's going uh, to be nice. Yeah, yeah, very pleasant out here. Uh, I'd say 90 degrees, not much of a wind. Uh, it's pleasant if you're sitting. If you're playing, it may be pretty warm. Maybe, but. yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to be playing for sure. Yeah, it's better just to, better to be here watching. But uh, this uh, this is, game is on Cox. Uh, it is the game of the week. So uh, hey, we had to – Don't tell our viewers they, that. They had <laughs> to take away our, they had to take away our uh, press box, right? So we're yeah. outside. The TV bumped us, but uh, you'd rather be listening to us and uh, watching it on the chart. Oh, division. yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. obvious. Yeah, yeah. That's totally obvious. So last year's game, 30-20, to 20, Millwood uh, uh, 
beat the Chargers. Uh, Heritage Hall was leading in the third quarter, and then, like you said, it was just uh, hard to keep everybody on the field, whether it was cramping or injuries. Uh, but, uh, man, we, we gave it our all, and uh, they, Bill was just better that day. Yeah, we had a ton of turnovers, so I know Coach uh, I know Coach Bogert has talked to them about that. We, uh, we It's not that we gave that game away last year, but we certainly had to overcome a lot uh, in the way of all the turnovers that we had. So yeah. uh, 20 to 16 after three quarters, and then we, you know, Lost some, lost some key, uh, lost some, had some key turnovers there. So, uh, hopefully, we're going to alleviate that tonight. Yeah. And yeah, you know, yeah. it's it. You know, Mark, the turnovers are turnovers usually will, will plague you in the beginning of the season just because of the timing of the. Right. You know, uh, guys aren't used they aren't used to the live action. They're used to hitting their own guys, except for their scrimmages. And uh, so, ball security is going to be key. Uh, and you know, we're going to throw the ball a lot. Uh, and it looked like to me the scrimmage that I watched, it looked like to me the run game's really ahead of the passing game, which, you know, which is kind of, you know, which doesn't surprise you it's going to be yeah. that way. But uh, ball security is going to be – I think it ball security is going to be a, a major deal tonight. Well, we've got Jackson Joe back at quarterback. And, and uh, he's a good one too. He had a great year last year, but I also Man, know he did. he did not uh, – he was playing a lot of baseball in the spring and the summer, and so I don't think he got to work out as much with the team as much as maybe Coach Bogart wanted him to. Uh, but he's a great talent, and I'm sure he'll get dialed in. I hope he's already dialed in. Uh, he looked pretty good. Uh, when I watched him scrimmage last Thursday against Berry Hill, and he looked pretty good. Uh, he's got a, you know, he's got a great arm. Uh, we've got a, we've got a uh, different bunch of receivers this year. Uh, so you know, he's got some new, he's got some new targets. We we lost a couple of, we lost a couple couple of weapons uh, from last year's team, uh, Connor Carey and Billy, Billy Ross, Ross Jr. Yeah. Uh, so. You know that's going to be uh, that, that's going to there's a lot of yards there, a lot of yards after the catch, a lot of broken field uh, yardage to replace their mark. Those guys are such good athletes and had such good speed. Yep, but that's uh, that's the challenge every year in high school football is they're going to replace some of the seniors, and uh, we've been very fortunate that we've been able to do it the last few years as well. Yeah, I think they call it reloading, reloading. not re not rebuilding. Yes, Heritage Hall reloads, Millwood reloads. I that's like, the kind of programs they I are. I like what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll go to our uh, uh, commercial break, and then we are about four minutes away from kickoff when we will uh, get this game going. want a chance to grow to use the present to impact the future every day this field is a place to play for thousands of our students and this place this field changes everything this field is more because the future plays here All right, we're back to Pop Murray Memorial Field, and uh, the teams, the team captains, are uh, have just come onto the field for the coin toss. Um, Rick, uh, we can go over a little bit of uh, some of the career numbers of a few guys that are getting close to maybe some uh, career stats. We got Philip Smitherman at 264 tackles, only needs 31 this season to pass uh, Martin Smith, uh, who's number 15 on the list. And 93. Wow, yeah. it's a long time ago. <laughs> just the other day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then uh, 86 solo tackles needed. Uh, he needs 40, or that's what he has. He needs 49 to pass uh, Richard Hill from 2004. So he's uh, moving up the list, and uh, I, I expect him to have a great year. I'm sure that he will. Well, there's the Millwood uh, Millwood captains coming out to uh, midfield to uh, talk to our captains. Said their captains: uh, Perry Lewis, number 56; Jaden Mullen, number 21; Miles Wooten, 16. And the quarterback, Harold Bagby, number one. Yeah, and then the uh, uh, captains for Heritage Hall are going to be Hardy Bowers, Philip Smitherman, Will Dunn, and uh, Melvin Swindle, uh, who's a junior. The others are seniors. And, yeah, uh, Melvin. He's been a two-year, going-on three-year starter. 
Yeah, he's in, uh, he's in possession of several D1 offers. Uh, and like you say, just a junior. So uh, college guys are going to have to – they're watering at the mouth to get him, but they're going to have to wait another year. <laughs> right. He's, <laughs> he's got, got quick feet and he's got good size. Yes, he does. Really. He's got great feet. I think, that's, I think that's probably his number one attribute, and that's what, coaches, that's what coaches at the next level for linemen, that's what they're looking for. Yep, 6'3", 303. He's uh, not afraid to play a little basketball either. Uh, he's a good basketball player. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it uh, looks like they're going to play him both ways this year. Uh, I don't know that he played as much defense last year as he might play this year. So, um, once again, I think, I think that's going to be the strength of the, uh, strength of the Chargers team. Hardy Bowers, is also, Hardy Bowers is also out there. Sure-tacular, hard hitter, hustles, play, makes plays all over the field from his linebacker spot. Yeah, he is not afraid of contact. There's no, no doubt about not at that. all. Very and it looks like player. he and he's, and he's not wearing a cast on his hand now. He seemed like he had a cast last year yeah. for what well, I don't half know the half the season. It yeah. seemed like, yeah. So I'm sure he's uh, that'll free him up to be even a better tackler than he is. Looks like Heritage Hall get the ball first, and uh, we'll go from left to right. Not much wind, so I'm not sure if there's an advantage one way or another. I, I don't think so, really. And uh, usually we'll usually we'll have the kicking game advantage. We'll see. So we'll see uh, special teams advantage or not. Right. We got Luke Butler doing some of the kicking this year. I know. The sophomore. He's got a strong leg. Yeah. He kicked some. They let him practice at Berry Hill last week. The scrimmage out here, and they both teams came out and kicked some field goals. And he's got some range. Good. 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 All right. Here to Chaw. There they are. Good look at him there. They're excited. First game of the season. Yeah. Man, they're yeah. ready to go. Yeah, we got a great crowd. Everybody's still uh, still piling in. It looks like Mark, and we got a fair amount of uh, people, lean, you know, leaning on the fence too, down along the track. So, yep. we've got the big 50th year of Heritage Hall, and a lot of events going on this weekend. So, I think yeah, uh, big celebration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Chargers. This uh, this team's got it. <laughs> they've got a lot of pressure on them, playing in front of the 50th <laughs> 50th anniversary crowd. Yeah, let me tell you about that. The Alumni Association, uh, we're proud to host tonight's tailgate parties. Uh, many alumni are ready, uh, already signed up for this weekend's 50th anniversary event, but uh, visit heritagehall.com slash HH50 to RSVP and see who's coming. Uh, they've got a great crowd for the Saturday night event. I know there's uh, some uh, alumni events on Friday night for class reunions for uh, 30 year and 35 and in the odd and even uh, decades. And... Um, Anyway, it's going to be a great event. So definitely, I'll see you there. Yeah, that's going to be a that's going to be a big, big deal. Good, big deal for the school. Big milestone for Heritage Hall. All the students in their construction gear. <laughs> yeah, that's a good turnout from the student section for sure. All oh, right, sure. Rick. Well, let's uh, let's quit talking about it and watch some football. Yeah, let's do. Yeah, I'm ready to roll. We got Jackson Job warming up down in front of us. Looks like he's going to uh, be the starter at quarterback. Right, wearing number uh, three, number three. Tonight, which is uh, usual number 15, but wearing number three tonight. Let's see if that's a lucky number. It might be. We'll see. He's got a great arm. We know that. Very strong arm. Also, uh, Robert Embro is going to get a lot of. He's going to get a lot of work at quarterback too. Yep, they're sending Philip Smitherman and uh, uh, Davis Duncan uh, back. Looks like Philip may be the only the lone deep back. Gavin Freeman's back there too. He's a good ball player. Coach Freeman's son. He he's, he plays a lot. He's going to be he, he does a lot for the Chargers. He does. He's a good plays, athlete. Yeah, he plays some defense, plays some offense. He's only five he's seven, one forty two, but he's a good athlete. I think he's our, yeah. He'll grow some for sure. Yeah. Just a sophomore. Yeah. Is he still, he's still holding. Was he holding or deep snapping? One of the two on the uh, special teams. I think he was de uh, snapping because Colby Lewis held last year. I don't know what's, I don't know this year. It's a low, low kick. Phillips got it. And we'll see what he does with it. He's at the 20 already. Looking for an opening. He's at the about 28 yard line and gets hit hard. Nice tackle there by Miles Wooten, one of their captains. Uh, we'll look at the starting lineup. Uh, we've got Jackson Job we've talked about. Looks like Peyton Ernest is going to start at tailback. Hardy Bowers at fullback. And then we've got Philip Smith and Joe Washington and uh, Will Dunn, wide receivers. And then uh, on the line, Melvin Swindle, William Jackson, 
four-year uh, player. And then Edward Lorne, Amari Smith, and Gavin Wilson, sophomore, who's going to start on the line for yeah, us. Yeah, I'm excited to see Gavin play. Watch his big brother Grayson play forever. So yeah, yeah. good football family with a – he's got a pedigree for sure. Jackson, Jackson looking to throw the screen. He does. Oh, nice. Peyton. He's got the ball. He's cutting up field. Oh, Almost touchdown breaks. saving field. Yes, that's about at the 48-yard line. But, man, he had a head of steam and was going. Good to have him back. He was. He suffered a concussion, I guess, last year and early in the season. And right. uh, I don't think he ever played it, played it again, did he? Right. Uh, not much. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we had a lot of we had a lot of guys toting the football last year, so it'd be hard to get back <laughs> get back on the field after coming yeah, out of that lineup. That's a great call on. Uh, First misdirection down. like well, that. Well, but yeah. they know they they know they're going to try to put some pressure on oh, our yeah. quarterback. Yeah. Very intelligent call. Yeah, that was a nice screen, oh, nice screen play. But as as uh, as you do see, uh, on a lot of times on those timing plays like that, especially early in the year, uh, there'll be a penalty. So it looks like a block in the back. Mm. Going to go against the Chargers. Still have we still have outstanding field mm. position. That's unfortunate. I did not see the flag on that. I didn't either, but. Actually, I didn't see the flag, but then once they, once they called it, I started marching it off. I wasn't surprised just because that's a, that's a, that's a play that you will get uh, some penalties on. Brings it back to the 32-yard line. And uh, another quick pass to Philip Schmitherman. He's trying to bust up the sidelines. He gets about seven. It's going to be uh, second down at about one. Yeah, nice time. quick hitter out there. Ta nice tackle out there by uh, probably looked like a touchdown saving tackle by Aaron Hammond. Defensive back. They're trying to get, uh, I think, get the the ball out of the quarterback's hand quickly. Yeah, yeah. They're not going to. Uh, they're not going to test that line just yet. We'll see if uh, we'll see if uh, Millwood's, you know, the bigger linemen, their their players to watch on the line. We'll see how they, what kind of job they do pass rushing. It looks like they're double tough against the run yeah. for sure. Right. Uh, so second three, they're saying, and. Uh, this inside, time it's uh, inside reverse. And inside reverse, and he's got some open field. He's at the 50. And nice cuts cut back, back right around, guys. He's oh, at yeah. the 40. Now at the 35. Great run by Philip Smitherman. Yeah, man. What more misdirection from the Chargers? And that's a great. You know, you mentioned it the first time on that screen pass, but uh, nothing kills pursuit like a misdirection play. Yeah. And our coaches uh, are starting out right now with uh, great misdirection plays. Keep them on. And we're going to take advantage of that pursuit that uh, Millwood's got. So. You're exactly right. They have a lot of good athletes, and they're fast, but this will slow them down. Yes, it will. It'll make you. It'll make you shuffle a couple steps back there in the secondary for sure. And that's when you. That's when you can come right at them after that. So it looks like get Will done. Will back will there be lined up in the uh, shotgun, but Will done. He plays a little tight end, a little fullback, and he has played, played quarterback. quarterback yeah. Played quarterback last year in this game at Millwood. He's got a strong arm, but I mean, it looks like they're setting him up for the belldozer. Yeah, looks yeah, like to me. yeah, yeah. He could run over some guys, yeah. I think. What are we going to call that? The, the done deal? Yeah, I don't it's know. a done deal, the man. Will, He's, yeah, it's, it's will Dozer. The, the Will Dozer, yeah. I don't know. You, that's, uh, feel free to text Rick Hansing and tell us what we're going to call that. <laughs> tell, yeah, what are we going to call it? Well, we got to see if we're actually going to run the play first. We've got to see what's going on. Well, I mean, as soon as that's a deal, as soon as he, you know, runs it up there a few times, and he was, he's going to launch one for yeah, about 40 yards. Yeah, yeah, and he was back there by himself, right? He didn't have anybody. He wasn't in, well, the, he was, wasn't in the pistol, right? He didn't have anybody well, back there with him. It I didn't think that's seem why like. we called timeout is uh, we weren't quite oh, lined okay, up uh, okay, exactly okay. where we wanted All to right. be. All right. We'll see. what. Let's see. Uh, the East, he's still out there, but Jackson Job came back out too, so yeah. probably not going to run the same play. Just keeping him honest. Yeah, I like it. Me too. Not that they need our approval, obviously, but I generally like the Heritage Hall play calling. They do need our <laughs> approval. We're going to turn them into superstars. <laughs> All right, first and ten. Uh, Got Joe Washington spread out there. Yard line. Joe is in the lineup. He's in the slot left. Looks some kind of uh, – Robert Embro uh, takes yeah. a snap, and he's running it right up the middle, and he gets about 14 yards. Yeah, great play right there. Nice run. Yeah, there was a lot to look at on that play. We had lots of candy out there yeah. for the uh, Falcons to look at, and then we run something straight at them. So, yeah. great play right there. Another good play call. Well, first and 10, ball now to the 22-yard line after Robert Embro takes it right up the middle. Yeah, we got, uh, we got the Falcons right now a little bit on their heels, Mark. Exactly where we want. So we get Jackson Joe back in there, a little more traditional set it looks like. 
Looks like we broke the huddle with 12 guys, but oh, no, no, no flag. No, no flag. Another thing. reverse up. Uh, one guy stayed at home. Nice tackle right there. Yeah, still a gain of five, though. They get down to about the 15, 16-yard line. Yeah, that's their quarterback, Harold Bagby, with the uh, nice stop right there on Philip Smitherman. But uh, you get that flow going the other way, Mark, and we've got a good uh, we got a good seat up here. We can really yeah. see. Keep running it till they stop it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We used to have a coach. He would say, "We're going to run that till the world looks flat." <laughs> so. <laughs> It's you knew it was working when yeah. he said that. Second yeah. and three now. They did spot it at the uh, 15 and a half. So, so Robert Embro like again. Yeah, we got three. We have three potential quarterbacks in the lineup in the game yep. right now. This time, Robert Embro keeps it. Same He's play. Straight up there, gets the first down, down to about the eight. Same play we ran last time from that same formation. We're setting him up for the big play, but I'm okay with them getting seven yards. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, we'll take seven yards. Seven yards of play for sure. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it on that. <laughs> right. I mean, just keep running that same play till they stop you. <laughs> we're, the only thing we're going to get tired of is this, all the substitution going back and forth. That's the only thing that uh, is going to wear our guys out. Yeah, that's right. Running back and forth. At least no one's cramped yet. First, 842 left. <laughs> first and goal. Uh, Jackson Joe back in there, hands it off to Philip Smitherman, who gets around finally, but oh, the ball is on the turf. There's a flag down. Philip was able to get back on it right about the 20-yard line. We'll see what the penalty is. They're going to hit Will Dunn with a holding over there. Uh, he Philip ran out, you know, ran outside of his block right there. But he, Millwood got some penetration right there, and and uh, looked like Will got a little bit of little bit of the body. I think you're exactly right, Rick Hansing. You've seen this game played before. <laughs> Well, the referee was slow to call it. He watched it. I mean, he was he was making sure that, it, you know, he didn't just throw the flag just because they were engaged there. Good. I like that. Me too, because he made it, he gave me he gave me a chance to to so make a decent block. Let's get it back up the Chargers to about the uh, 19, and still uh, it's going to be second goal. I say there for a second, I thought <laughs> for a second I thought they were going to have Melvin in the backfield. Still a flag. He's back there. He's back there checking with uh, Job on the play. I was like, hey, we got a new formation. See, why wouldn't that be first and goal still if they're holding in the, on that play? Must have been must have been third down before no, play before. Was it first and goal? But I'm confused. No, well, that could be helpful. Let's see. Millwood jumps off sides there. Yeah. That's the way I saw it. <laughs> I hope that's the way it is. <laughs> I, I wonder if uh, wonder if our center, I wonder if Ed, I wonder if Edwin, I wonder if he did the old, you know, kind of move the ball a little bit. I don't know. I it worked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he did. So we're going to say second and 14 based on everything I see. Trip's right. I like Jackson's the looks. Oh, wheel route. Throw. Ooh, Peyton Ernest wow. catches it. Touchdown, <laughs> Heritage Hall. Wow. Tell you what, that was uh, that was like a fingernail from getting intercepted yeah, right there. Right. So uh, that throw was right on the money and obviously well-timed. But uh, love that play. Nice wheel route right there to the boundary. Peyton Ernest. So that's a 14-yard uh, touchdown. It's, uh, it's going to be uh, – Jackson Joe to Peyton Ernest, 14 yards. That was uh, very close to being picked off, but very well done. Oh, extra point. Barely Good. through there out of a hold uh, hold by Landon Lahodney. And uh, let's see who snapped that. Yeah, that's right. Gavin Freeman snapped it. He's a long snapper. So good connections right there on special teams. You'd like to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That all turned out famously. Yes, it uh, did. They got a, yeah. a fumble, and luckily Harry Hall jumps on it. And uh, they backed him up, but uh, they come through with a touchdown throw. Mark, did you notice on this, the second reverse possibly that we ran to Phillip, he, that ball began to come out as he was going to the turf on this side, and it didn't come out, and he corralled it. But over on yeah. the other side, it came out. <laughs> it came out a little bit. He had to scramble for it. It came out a little bit more. So yeah. we Boger, talked about ball yeah, security. Right, Coach Boger yeah. may chat with him for a little bit about that, but yeah. Uh, yeah. no harm done is the good news. Heritage Hall leading 7-0. Well. If there was any, uh, if there was any question, which I did have a few, uh, on uh, where we were going to get some yards uh, carrying the ball on offense, I guess we're 
we're uh, starting to figure that out. We're starting to see, see what's going on here. Yeah, well, Peyton Ernest, uh, running back, and uh, I know he can run hard and strong, but uh, he's got two passes. One of them negated by a penalty, but uh, one of them for a touchdown. We had trips right here on that play, and uh, he was split out here kind of in the slot, but uh, instead of running that little bubble screen, he ran a wheel route down the sidelines. And uh, just well, well timed, great, great execution. Yeah, they had a defender there, but he was just yeah, a smidge he was, late. He was just a little bit late. Yeah. This is what I've been looking forward to. I've been wanting to watch the Chargers play defense. I, I think that's, a, I think that's going to be the strength of our team, Mark. The Journey Jensen is uh, back to catch it. Catches it about the 15. Fumbles it. Not a clean catch at all. Well, it but came he's right back 20. up to him. He's going to go right up for the room. Middle. Gets tackled finally about the 35-yard line by Jagger Abel. Yeah, that was a nice tackle right there because uh, if Jagger doesn't get him right there, Rick, he's got about 60 yards in front of him he's gonna, that he's going to uh, take it to the house. Yeah, Journey Jensen is a nice play. So starting on uh, defense, we have Will Dunn, Melvin Swindle, Jaden Williams, and uh, Connor Keith, Hardy Bowers, A.J. Searles, and uh, Landon Lahodney. And then uh, – Back in the secondary, we've got Jackson Joe, Peyton Ernest, Davis Duncan, and Philip Smitherman. Just about uh, everybody going both ways except for uh, yeah, that's Davis Duncan. He's not playing offense there so far go. anyway, but pressure right oh, there. Oh, right. wow. Yeah, that's a nice play. Uh, oh. well, A.J. Searles rushing the passer right there. That's, uh, uh, it is. He got brought him down hard. Leon Mackey went down hard. He's limping. Yeah, that's, we do not want to see that. But, uh, that's not who we thought. That's not who we thought was going to play quarterback. Yeah, we, I don't we think Bagby was going to be out there. But uh, Leon Mackey, the junior quarterback, yeah. takes the first uh, snap, but he gets taken down hard on uh, some pressure by AJ Searles, and yeah. it looks like he's uh, hurt like his a, ankle. Looked like an ankle. Yeah. So great defensive pressure, as you mentioned. Uh, our defense has uh, been working hard this summer, and uh, they're ready to play. But uh, we obviously don't want to get anybody injured. Yeah, ab absolutely. Yeah. That's sad on the uh, – that is uh, – it look, does look like an ankle. He can try to walk it off. I mean, maybe they can tape it up. But I didn't see where – I didn't see him get rolled up on or well, – He threw it away, which awkwardly. is a smart thing yeah. to do for the quarterback. But then uh, A.J. Sorrells was right in his face and, and uh, grabbed him and rolled him down. But I think he must have accidentally landed on his leg when yeah. he did it. Well, if that was one of their wrinkles uh, to put a uh, different quarterback in their markets – they're going to have to go back to. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board now. We'll yeah. see if Bagby comes back at quarterback. I see him out there, but he's lined up a wide receiver. He was wide we'll receiver see. last time too. I saw 28 out there, and I was like, "Oh no, Marcus Major's not playing for them again this year, is he?" <laughs> yeah, we do not. He's down at, We need him in Norman. Yeah, he's yeah. down in Norman. He's he should just stay down there. <laughs> um, so. We'll see who the who's going to be uh, under center or take the snap under there. I mean, they've got running back Miles Wooten. Uh, it looks like he is in the shotgun, but I'm waiting to see if it's. Uh, I knew there Jake was a Mullen back there. They've got. Uh, I knew there was another major on this team. That's little brother or cousin number 23, Michael Major. Good yeah, pursuit on the backside. Jaden Williams right there from. Right defensive end spot, trailing that play. Yeah, Ronnie Ray is the one who uh, uh, took the snap and handed it off quickly to uh, Miles Wooten, but uh, there's just nothing there. The Chargers defense is all over it. Yeah, that's a great play right there by uh, Jaden Williams. He, like, hey, kind of, they ran away from him. He drags along the uh, line of scrimmage looking for anything back the uh, misdirection and uh, ends up running the ball carrier down from behind there. Great play. Jaden Williams, 5'9", 210. He's, look, he's bulked up just a since junior. the last time I saw him. We know he's got good speed, too. He played some nose guard last year. Got him playing outside this year. Used that speed. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, wow. Get a little excited over there. Didn't time the Connor trying, Keith. Trying to time the uh, snap count there. They're going to give him a quick five. It's third and 13, but they're going to turn around and make that third and eight. Well, the Millwood crowd over there, they're in the sun for a few more minutes. But uh, as soon as that sun goes down, it's going to be really, really nice out here. So third and eight now, and like I said, the uh, uh, quarterback lasted one play, and so they're kind of trying to piece it together and see who's going to do what uh, for the Falcons. Quarterback by committee. You know, 
Ronnie Ray looks like he's got it, and he's running the Wildcat to see if he can get to the outside. He does get to the outside, but only gets about uh, six yards. It's going to bring up fourth down at about two. Yeah, nice defensive stand there by the Chargers, and uh, I assume Millwood's going to have to punt it away here. Yeah, it looks like number nine's coming out to punt for them. Michael Taffy, freshman. Uh, let's see. This is the this is the field position where Coach Bogert might. Uh, Take we would punt, not, but uh, we would not. Yeah, we would not be punting here. <laughs> we're, we're close <laughs> enough to the fifty. Yeah, right. Yeah, we're almost at the fifty. We're going for it. We do have a uh, uh, Philip Smitherman. Looks like back to receive this punt. I don't think Philip's ever going to come off the field. Nice no, punt either. too. If he yeah, lets yeah. that roll, it's going to get a Millwood bounce. Yeah, Stay away it takes, from a, it. takes a Falcon bounce there. Yeah, they're down to about the 12 to 13 yard line on the yeah. far side of the field. Nice punt. Yeah, once Phillip doesn't catch it, I think you just stay away. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Just get away from it. They had good coverage on that, too. Hey, we're down here by the band. I'm kind of yeah. kind of liking it. Rick Hansen may bring out, break kind of, out the song. It's kind of rocking it. It's kind of rocking it a little bit. <laughs> He's here for your entertainment pleasure, ladies Nobody, and hey, uh, the uh, Cox broadcast will get some more viewers if I start singing. I can promise you that. Everyone's going to go to Channel 3. <laughs> That's where they're going. Not at all. I'd stay for that show. Uh, so all your right. charity, Charles Chargers, leading 7-0 uh, on a touchdown to Peyton Ernest uh, out of the backfield. And uh, now they're first and 10, taking over about the 12-yard line. And, uh, He's, look, we don't have a quarterback out there. That we may have outsmarted I mean, did, ourselves uh, I mean, on that uh, lineup. Peyton Ernest finally looks over and says, "We, I'm not expecting the snap." Well, we did have 11. We had 11, but he looked like he was going to line up at. He was too deep to take the snap. He looked like he was going to be lined up at tailback, but something was not right. Something wasn't right. Yeah. Well, this gives a chance to start thanking our sponsors. First of all, Quill Creek Bank. Uh, Quill Creek Bank students checking and savings accounts will set up your, set you up for success. Visit them online at quillcreek.bank or stop by and see them at 122nd in North May and learn about their free accounts and free money matches for students. Huge thanks to uh, Quill Creek Bank for being a longtime sponsor of Charger Vision. Thank you. I think they, they've been with us from the start, I think. For a long time, for sure. Appreciate Quill Creek Bank support. They have good commercials, too, on TV. I like their commercials. Everybody loves local. Yeah. Uh, also, I think Venue Catering, um, they are continued uh, sponsor for us. Uh, they take amazing care of the students with their lunches every day. Uh, and I also, it's the state's best gourmet concessions. I had a big hot dog uh, on the way up here. <laughs> Was it a gourmet? All vouch for it. Oh, Was yes. it gourmet-esque hot dog on the way up? Very, yes. All right. Is it better than the uh, hot dog you had at the... Uh, DFW Airport. When I saw you this summer, did you, did you have a? I would say did you have much a, better. Much better. <laughs> we were held captive in the yeah. DFW Airport, weren't we? Yes, we were. Got home kind of late. Yes. I think I just now caught up. Caught Past up on my, my bed sleep. time. <laughs> Past my bedtime. Yeah. That's exactly right. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. First and ten now. Six minutes left in the uh, first quarter. Chargers do have a quarterback now. Here we go. Uh, Jackson Joe handing it off. I think that's Peyton Ernest. I think so. Run up the middle there. Just for about one, not much there. Yeah, that was you're right. That that was Peyton Ernest. Chargers with uh, tons of misdirection and and uh, lots of uh, lots of plays with lots going on there. And then we go run a base play right off tackle there. So see if uh, see if we run the ball a little bit this series, Mark. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm with you. They were going to attempt to go back to a little conventional, but. Field position might dictate that as well. Yeah, but uh, Coach Boger's not afraid to air it out if he needs to. Yeah, right. So second nine, they do give him a yard on that. Philip Smith in motion, and they uh, and Robert Embro does look look around, and it uh, looks like it's going to be thrown. Jackson Job, there's nobody there. It's a good defense by Millwood. Yeah, that play was uh, doomed by penetration almost from the start. Good penetration there from uh, – Perry Lewis got in there, yeah. And uh, also, I can't. He's got his numbers sideways to me, but uh, I'll get it here in a minute. Those guys were in. Those guys Deep were in, in hot pursuit. Field. Number yeah. twenty-one, Jaden Mullen, sophomore. Yeah, we good-looking uh, at good-looking athlete, six foot, two hundred five, just a sophomore. 
we've talked about it. It's just trying to control the line of scrimmage is going to be key. And that Perry Lewis is uh, big and strong at uh, 250 pounds. Yeah. They also got uh, Anthony Gilbert, who's uh, 350. And, yeah. Uh, we want to keep him far away from the quarterback. Yes, we do. Yeah, back. Perry Lewis has got some good feet on him. He got back there in a hurry. Flag down before the play even starts. I think we looked like we maybe left a little early there, possibly. Nope. Hmm. So, Penn Allen Chargers, that's just kind of what I would say the first game is uh, probably to be expected, although no one's excited about it. Do we have too many? We have too many guys on the field. Well, if they're acting like we that, haven't run. We haven't. No one's come off. Yeah. It's hard to be a legal substitution when uh, nobody substitutes. <laughs> that does backs up third and fourteen now from the eight-yard line. We, so we have eleven out there. Jackson, Job, and Will Dunn in the backfield. And uh, two wide receivers on each side. Penetration from Throw the, that away. Yeah, good He's move right here to, to elude that. He's uh, running. Oh, gets hard uh, tackle right there. That's a good tackle right about that's the 12 yard line. That's that defensive back there, number 20. Yeah. Dominic Godwin. Godwin. Another another play that was uh, blown up from the start by penetration, Mark. Yeah. Jackson Job was lucky to get out of the end zone. He made it. Well, he made a really good play to get by yeah. the first uh, first guy on the rush there, but then uh, just didn't have time for the route to develop after that. Fourth and uh, ten, and. Uh, Jackson Job's still out there, which is a little baffling unless he punts. Yeah, which he's going to punt. Assuming he does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do have a deep man. Millwood's going to gain the field position advantage here. That was almost blocked right there. Yeah. Ball, good, pretty good out punt. Out of bounds, yeah. Out of bounds, about the 32 yard line. Millwood will start with the very good field position. Good uh, penetration. We were lucky to get that away. Yeah, good penetration there for Perry Lewis, number 56. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna be talking a lot about Mr. 56 tonight. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we're not. I hope about not. It. I hope not either. The so Millwood comes out. Uh, they got the ball on the 37 yard line uh, where it went out of bounds. In uh, their second series, they did not uh, do much on their first series. They got their quarterback, quarterback back. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Taped his ankle. It was, a, it was his right ankle. So Leon Mackey's back in the game. I'm happy to. Well, I say I'm happy to see that. I'm glad he's not hurt too bad. I hope he does not have a good game. <laughs> He is uh, just a junior. First and ten, he's looking to throw right off the bat. He's throwing it to uh, number seven right over. Oh, uh, wow. Beautiful uh, pass Desmond right Green there. hit him right in the hands, and he was yeah. not able to hold on. Yeah. Joe Washington, uh, I think, was going to take him down before he got to the end zone, but he yeah. uh, he had a step on him. Oh, that was a well-thrown ball. down again. That's a different number. I think that uh, I think that's Miles Wooten. I think that's 16, I think, Mark. I think you're right. I see 15 out there. Man. Yeah, I saw he didn't have his ankle tape, so he that looked like a knee there. It does. They're working on a knee. Well, that's a pretty throw from uh, Mackey. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you could you could tell that it was that it was always just going to be a little bit overthrown. He didn't have quite he didn't have quite enough air under it. It was a little bit of a line drive. But uh, still, should, pretty looking ball. Caught, well, yeah. I think so, too. I think, Yeah, I think so, too. But it's just uh, we had good coverage right there. Like uh, Joe Washington was right there running step for step with him. Uh, man. That, looks, that doesn't – he's uh, struggling to put weight on that. Yeah. There he's getting a little bit more. Uh, we hope he's okay for sure. This is not uh, – Do not want to see a bunch of injuries for sure. Nobody does the first game at yeah. all. Yeah. Well, in a game like this, too, you want, you know, you want both teams to be at full strength and hopefully, give it the best shot yeah. they can. Hopefully, best all shot season. they can give. Yeah. Never like to see that. Looks like Mackey's getting around pretty well. He yeah. Comes back out. He looks like he's moving around pretty well. Got that right ankle taped to his shoe now. Second and ten after the incomplete pass, but uh, man, I thought it was, uh, it was yeah, dangerous. That, yeah. It was a good throw. Yes, yeah, so it was. was. Trouble written all over. It. This time it's a quick screen pass over to 21. Jaden Mullen, who's uh, cutting up field, and it gets hit hard. Really nice tackle right there. Five-yard gain. Guess who? Uh-oh. He's down now. That was, Phil, was Phillip Smith. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Phillip bringing the, bringing, the bringing, the, bringing the wood right there. Oh, my God. I actually think he was actually uh, – Mark looked like he was kind of slipping down to the turf 
as Phillip came right. in there, I wish we had a right replay. Right in the midsection, it yeah. looked like. Yeah. Just take his breath away. Yeah. I hope. I hope it, looks like, it, looks like what, it looks like he's got the wind knocked out of him. And that uh, that uh, reminds me of Dawson Evans just coming full bore uh, <laughs> at uh, whoever's got the ball. Yeah. You got, uh, yeah. I got 15 yards of uh, steam behind me. Downhill, they call it, from the safety position. <laughs> well, Bring in the lumber. Yeah, that is, uh, I mean, I don't know what I would say. Three legitimate hits that were uh, nothing dirty about any of them, but we've had three people down uh, Yeah, he the looked, Falcons. Yeah, their ball carrier, he looked like he was slip. He looks like he was kind of slipping. trying to cut and probably was yeah. falling. I agree with you. But that was, uh, that was a big hit either way. I, mean, I think it was, it's, it's not uh, – wasn't 28, was it? I think it was 20. Uh, 20? 21, maybe. Jake Mullen that was carrying it. Yeah, I think, it, I think you're right. Your voice yeah, we've already seen him make some plays on well, defensive looks like side, he is too. off, but I agree. I think the They're turf carrying, gave before uh, – He's not putting any weight on that knee. Uh, Mercy. So third yeah, and six now. He looks to be one of their better players, too. That's Three guys have limped off for the Falcons, but one has come back. I hope they all uh, can come back. So Gilbreth and uh, Perry Lewis both play offense as well. Nick Gilbreth, he he is plays, he's playing, he's playing left tackle. Looks like he's playing right next to Perry Lewis. He's playing left guard. So third and six, ball at the 33-yard line. Mackey looking to throw. Oh, throws up the middle, but uh, double coverage. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, late flag. That's going to be pass interference. Yeah, there was a little jersey grab there. I wasn't sure the referees saw it. Harold Bagby said uh, he he showed the ref. He's like he's pulling my he's pulling my jersey here. So late flag, but it does come in. Yeah, and I think it's the right call. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I'm not sure he was going to catch it, but uh, we had good he double, definitely was held up. We had double coverage right there. Could, I know Jackson Job was over there. Was that Davis Duncan? I think that may have been Davis. With, uh, grabbing an old jersey. He made a nice play in the scrimmage the other night and made a nice interception. Davis did from, the, from his cornerback spot. So first and ten after the penalty. Ball now at the 18-yard line. Target's defense is not giving him much. I mean, just that penalty is about all the yards they've gotten. It's nice roll up the middle. Straight up the middle. And uh, brought down after a good uh, good gain of about seven yards. I didn't see who the tailback was that ran it. I think it was number 20, I think. No, 20, 28. Yeah, that's uh, Ronnie Ray who kind of filled in at quarterback uh, for a couple of downs. He's just he's a young player, too. I Junior. Junior, yeah. Looked like that was a uh, tackle in there by Melvin Swindle. It looks like brought him down after about a five-yard gain. Seven-yard gain, I guess, second three. Yeah. Long six, I guess. So Mackey and Ray in the uh, backfield, second and four. Oh, high snap. That's good for the Chargers. Who's going to get there first? Mackey tries to bring it in. It does not. Scoop and score here, possibly. Oh, that's uh, 21 has got it. A.J. Searles, A.J. Searles chasing down the ball. That's a crucial turnover as uh, Millwood Falcons were starting to threaten. I was just I was just getting ready to say before that play, Mark, I sure don't like this field position here. And the uh, Chargers flip-flop it out of the turnover. Uh, man, Mackey had gotten there first, but he couldn't bring it in, and A.J. Searles scoops it up and runs for another 10. I thought Mackey tried to do the right thing. I yeah, mean, he tried to fall on, on it. On he, it. Just kinda, yeah. he just kind of had a bad hop there. It was in-between hop, as they say, and – AJ was able to uh, scoop and he almost scored. Nice, uh, nice play by the Chargers. We'll call it scoop and go. Yeah, we'll call it scoop and go. Yeah. Bad snap, but helps out the Chargers. They get the ball at about the 47-yard line to bring the offense back. Yeah, that snap was uh, really way too tall. <laughs> yeah. Mackey is uh, a six, tall, seven. but not that tall. They need a six-seven quarterback back there to field that snap. I'd say a seven-footer. Yeah, with I some, with some, with some, with some hops. Uh, same reverse. They almost catch Philip from behind, but he's uh, got some uh, room to run. He gets about to a seven-yard seven gain on that. About yep. 47 of the other side of the field. That's that reverse of running to uh, Phillip. And like you said, he almost got caught from behind, but uh, had enough speed to get out of there They've, for uh, a nice gain. So Jackson Job out. Uh, we'll see who actually lines up the quarterback. 
looks like uh, Phil Dembro, or uh, Robert Robert yeah. Dembro. Thought we'd see some of this. Yeah, Peyton Toss Hurst sweep. pitch, but he's got nowhere to go. That's good defense. Number really good defense. Bring yeah. him down hard. Yeah, nobody got a hand on Ronnie him for Ray. sure. Yeah, from his corner spot. That was a good unassisted tack, solo tackle over there. Yeah, Peyton Ernest just couldn't get away. He yeah, he's not he's not easy to bring down either. The loss on the play is going to bring up uh, third about nine. Good, yeah. real, really good pursuit. Robert Embro staying in there, quarterback. Uh, Coach Brett's not happy with this either. I guess see if we're going to have to call a timeout. Just Down watching five. him. We better get this off. Down oh, that's two. what it is. Yeah, he was. Un uh, I took my eye off the play clock, so that's what it was. Unhappy about not getting the play in, which I can't blame him. But, you know. Who's he mad at is the question. Yeah, yeah. but, you know, those, those are things that are going to happen in the first game. Right. You know, you know you've got different substitution patterns. You've got, you know, right. you've got different different play calls, different yeah. personnel. You know, we, we're, we've got a lot of personnel running in and out of there, Mark. So everybody's got to pay attention, well, be on the same page. And he's kind of running a couple of different uh, quarterbacks in, which yeah, that's what just I mean. adds another wrinkle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So third and seven, timeout the Chargers, and that uh, I'd like to definitely uh, I'd like to think Fuzzy's Taco Shop. There's no better game day restaurant, uh, fresh, fast, and fun. Stop in at Chisholm Creek after the game or visit one of their other locations. They're in Edmond, Bricktown, Norman, Stillwater, and now open in Moore. Fuzzy's, welcome to Rick Hansing's new addiction, although it's an old <laughs> it's addiction. It's not new. Yeah, there. I was going to say, yeah, it's not new anymore. It, it once was. Somebody, somebody went to Fuzzy's. They, they left you a little something. Left us a, uh, left us a drink mean, up here on the table. So I had a game dog. A little advertisement here. Got a got a uh, marketing prop on the uh, scorer's table here. Well, where were the tacos? Yeah, no tacos. Uh, all right, third and seven. Fake sweep. Yep, Jackson Job looking to throw. Nobody mm -hmm. open. He's right there. He decides get it to outside. run it. Can he get out there? Get it outside. He run does, it out of bounds. Keep going. Yeah, there we go. It's about to the 41-yard line. It's going to be very close. I like very that play. Close. I like that play, Mark, where he just get her out of bounds. Well, me too, but he wanted to make sure he got the first down. It's close. It looks like he has it. Well, I'm, just, I'm glad he didn't tuck his head and try to run over somebody. Well, that one move that you put on the first guy, yeah. you're setting yourself up for trouble with yeah. the next guy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. But he, he made two good moves down. to get to the sidelines. Yeah, yeah, nice play, Jackson. Yeah, there really, there was good coverage by Millwood, and I'm glad he didn't let it go because there wasn't anywhere to throw it. Yeah, because there was a lot, a uh, lot for the defense to look at on that play. They sent Phillips Smitherman for that sweat, that fake uh, jet sweep they've been running with him. So it, it freezes the secondary, or it should anyway. If it doesn't, we'll get a ball over their head here soon. So out of timeouts, we're down to two on the play clock. They do get it off. It's a quick handoff. It's Peyton Ernest trying to hustle for yards. It gets about four to five. They blitzed us off that uh, defensive end over there, number 32. Tyler Taffy, I hope I'm saying his name right. Talk about it all the time. This penetrate, you know, penetration just uh, really throws everything off in the backfield. Yeah, and they are good at that. That's why we were so good at, uh, I mean, I, I love those first few play calls because of that. Yeah, I mean. yeah, all the misdirection we had. So they gave him four on the carry, uh, second and six. Ball about the 37-yard line. This time they give it to him again. There's a flag down. Peyton Ernest is running. He's got the first down and more. Brought down right about the 25, but we'll check out the penalty. Uh, it looks like they got us the interior of our line there. Probably a hold, I would think, where the vicinity of that flag is. And that chop block. That's Kevin Aiken down there, the referee. I think it looks like. Uh, chop block. That's what it looks like. That's 15. Yeah. Blocking so, a guy uh, while he's engaged. Yeah, you can't do that. You got one guy blocking him high, and you got another guy comes in and takes his knees out. So that's a that's the chop block okay. definition. Yeah. You're not uh, going to be able to get away with that. Uh, that's a which is a good because they issue. ought to be protecting. Right. Yeah, yeah, they ought to be protecting the defense on that. Uh, so I'm sorry to say it was a good run by Peyton Ernest that's yeah. been negated, but uh, uh, probably the right call. Peyton's getting he's getting into a little bit of rhythm here. He's a uh, 
think he's got some deceptive speed. He runs the ball. He does. He runs the ball very, very well. He uh, And he uh, runs tough, too. It's going to take more than one guy to bring him down, too, Mark, it looks like. He's a good athlete. We, uh, we take a lot of uh, basketball uh, on the same – I say on the same team with my son. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's been a good athlete for a long time. Yeah, it shows. So second and 21 now. Uh, looks like Jackson Job trying to get the play in from the sidelines. We've got 10, 10 seconds, seconds on the play on the clock. clock. Yeah. Act like they don't have the right personnel in there. Well, they better do something because we're out of timeouts is the problem. Oh, into the quarter. They were waiting for the quarter run out. out. I'm sorry. I I was looking at the play clock, not the game clock. Yeah, yeah. So end of one, we got Heritage Hall 7-0, and they are driving down the field. Uh, The penalties push them back a little bit, but they are on the Falcons' 46-yard line and uh, trying to get some more points. We'll cut the commercial and we'll come back with the uh, second quarter. Achieve attention driving a brand new Mercedes Benz from Mercedes Benz of Oklahoma City. Like the totally new, completely redesigned 2020 GLE 350 SUV. Available with seven passenger seating, a new infotainment system, and supreme luxury. Get yours now during the Mercedes Benz Summer Event. View all of our best offers online at Mercedes Benz of OKC.com. Welcome back to Pop Murray Memorial Field. You're here to charge Chargers leading the Millwood Falcons 7-0. I'm Mark Carlin with Rick Hansing, and uh, so far we're seeing a very physical game. Pretty good ball game, yeah. Pretty good ball game. <laughs> See if the referees have it. Uh, yeah, think, they need to flip-flop, yeah, the, flip-flop they, the markers. They got the, uh, yeah. You think any of the cheerleaders can get a ball all the way up here? We might get a new ball. Uh, I'm going to go no to that. No? You never know. In years past, we've had some, some girls cheerleaders with some, with some cannons, yeah, with some arms. Let's see what Quincy's got now. Nah, she's oh, left. She went, now. Lefty. she went lefty on us. So uh, we've got second and 23. Ball on the Chargers 46. I uh, thought they were going to flip the ball, but that I guess they'd already changed it. That looks like even longer than 23. <laughs> it's a quick throw. Jackson Joe. Good Phillip timing Smitherman catches it, and uh, he's down right about the 43-yard line, so that's going to gain about 13 of it back. That was a good route right there. That was good timing. That, that ball was in the air, and Phillip wasn't even out of his cut yet on that out route, so uh, that was good timing between uh, Job and Phillip right there. Three up third down and about uh, 12. Jackson did a good job. He threw him open there. I was looking at the guy running the deeper route. And, uh, yeah, we might. Yeah, well, yeah. no, just might come uh, back to that play. Right, I didn't know if he was uh, where he was throwing it at first. So, Jayden, third and thirteen. Jaden Williams back there, lone setback. You can really tell how big he's got. Oh, oh fumble. No, fumble! Jackson Job fumbles it. It looks like uh, William Jackson. William Jackson like. falls on it. You're exactly right. Uh, we talked William. about Bob security. Yeah, that's uh, that's, 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 that's going to be a key flag on the play as well. Uh, but really a heads-up play by William there, trailing the play there to jump on that one. That's two uh, two fumbles that uh, the Chargers alertly have fallen on, but that's not what we want. You like your lineman paying attention like that and getting on the ball, uh, getting on the ball before Millwood could get to it. Great play there by William. Billy Jack coming yeah. through. He's been playing a lot of football for the Chargers here. He has. I think this is a senior now. and He's, I think, a three-year starter. Yeah, he's – had a great career along that line. That's the strength of the defense or strength of the teams, both lines, I think. So it looks like Job is back to punt. Not really any breeze to speak of. It's time for him to cut that leg loose. Journey Jensen back to receive number six. Low snap. Low snap. Oh, we're going to fake it. He throws it. 
Max Bates catches it. He's at the 30. Did we get it? I think so. Barely got to it. He knew where the marker was. Good play right there. Max Bates, well done. We I, just talked about that when, yeah. when Millwood punted from the very same spot. We uh, were like, we would either we're not going to punt or we'd run a fake right there, yeah. and we did. Okay, this is about the 10th uh, <laughs> year in a row that we've had the quarterback as also our punter, and that's exactly why we do it. I yeah, think. I think so too. Yeah, yeah. We'll give up some yards on the punt, especially if you're not, especially if you have no intention of kicking it. Yeah. <laughs> well, well done, Coach Bogert. Uh, I like it. That's first and ten. The Chargers now on the 29 and uh, still marching. Uh, Max Bates did a great job of knowing where the first down was. That would have been off or not if you come up two yards short. Yep. Philip Smith in motion. It's a quick throw over to him. He's got blockers in front of him, and yeah. he's running up the sidelines. He's still going. Can he get in? Did they get to give it to him? I think he's going to get out at the one or two yard oh, line. Oh, it looks like right at the one yard line. I actually he's... thought Mark they were going to throw a, throw a flag on some of our blockers over here, but well, uh, he man, so he had many a, of them. yeah, he had a parade of blockers for him yeah. for sure. That was a good play design. A lot of guys in front of him. He got tackled and uh, rolled over the pylon, but they said he stepped out right about the one. Yeah, there you get a good look at Phillip right there. Just as we suspected, the ball's been in his hands most of the time on offense. Yeah, he's not uh, He's not coming out of the game, I don't no, think. No, 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 no. Yeah, he'll be able to go all day. Much like Connor Carey last year. He's, uh, yeah, he never came out. Don't worry on offense, defense, and special teams. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. Alarmed about. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we so we broke the huddle with 12. and Now we get a penalty for that. Yeah, Coach Boger's not pleased with that. He's, that's our second one. Yeah, illegal substitution is going to back separate at the one and going the wrong way. So first and goal now from the six. Yeah, that'll drive you crazy. But yeah. like you said, we got so many, we have so many different we personnel lot, packages. Yeah. We got a lot going on. We do a lot of a lot of action. A lot of guys running in and out, and so everybody's in there huddled up and like, oh, that's not my. <laughs> this isn't my play. <laughs> So first and six, uh, and Robert Imbro in at quarterback. He's just going to keep it run straight up the gut, and he's very close. I can't tell if they're going to give it to him or not. It looks like down right at the one-yard line. I like that play call. Well, Same thing we a, ran down here in, uh, going in to score first, our first touchdown. Well, it's a little bit of the parting of the Red Sea. The way yeah. Line is, uh, yeah, there's a huge, huge hole for him to go through. Sure Probably run the same right play. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. Robert Imbro in this time. Yeah. Nice blocking. Maybe it's maybe we need to come up with some kind of package for Robert there, some kind of his own bell dozer play. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, he uh, he looks awesome in those two runs, uh, but there's also great blocking. Cool yeah, really good, really really around. good blocking by the left side of the line there. Luke Butler in for the extra point. So who is All that right. holding? We decide. That's Landon Lahotney that uh, he was injured last year, broke his yeah, arm. His shoulder, He's a good yeah, player. Yeah. yeah. That was a good that was a good snap and hold right there too. So Landon Lahotney is uh, watching him play for the last few years. He's a guy that uh, oh, when he's yeah. out there, he's not afraid of contact no, either. No, he 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 sticks his nose in there a, a little every under, time. A little undersized, but he is uh, he's grown. Uh, he is a very physical player. Yeah, yes, he is. He's grown too over the summer since last year. He's just a junior. Correct. So, so he'll get uh, get some more charge get some more charger iron in bulk for that senior year. Well, I didn't see what the flag was, but there was one, and now we have the offense back in. Robert Embro looks like he's going to just keep uh, keep that train going. We're on the same play. And we got Will we Dunn do. in there. Oh, this Middle time they sniff it out and get uh, penetration right there. Nice play. 20. Yep, Dominic Godwin. Yep, he's not the seen first that. time we've called his he's name. He's seen that too many times. Yeah, he's, he's like, yeah, third time's a charm. I'm going to get in there with some penetration and stop it. Thirteen nothing Chargers. So Heritage Hall looking uh, pretty strong. Uh, the fake punt certainly helped us out, and uh, a couple of. Uh, Fumbles, but they did not turn into turnovers uh, as the Chargers alertly fall. Yeah, those, so. those are the best kind. Yeah, we've uh, uh, we've got some things we can clean up, but for sure, uh, we're yeah. leading 13-0 is the good news. Yeah. 
pretty pretty good execution on the offensive side of the ball once we do get our personnel packages straightened out once we once we do run a play pretty good execution going on out there for the first game yep i mean the first drive was uh, uh, very good and a lot of uh, uh great calls um, by coach bogart and then um, and then we've been a little sloppy here and there but we've made enough good plays to get in the end zone again yeah a few delay games yeah illegal few substitutions field, illegal substitutions but uh like i said we'll get that cleaned up so, so like philip sure. is not on kickoff coverage team so he he gets a rest here Hey, go ahead and get a drink while get you're you a on the It's a drink and a breather. <laughs> right. It's the least you can do. So <laughs> Journey Jensen and Desmond Green are deep for the Falcons. <laughs> Short so, kick. Yeah, Luke Butler kicks it off. And that's Green that's got it. Nice He's, tackle right there. I yeah, think that was 19. Guys with him. About 32-yard uh, line is where you can be I think that was down. Davis Duncan. Good Stop on special teams right there. Yep, there he is, number 19, getting off the pile. He's a tough player. Yeah, he's good. Really good. Good speed, good corner. Needs to, stay, needs to uh, stay healthy. All those D-backs just need to stay healthy. Yeah. <laughs> I, want, I want everyone to stay healthy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, we've only got a few on the injured list. Uh, yeah, they're going to be important tonight for sure. First and 10. Mackey with the pitch. Out Toss to the sweep. 28. Yeah, that was good. Duncan Pursuit made him right cut there. up and uh, then tackled by 18 Landon Lahadi. Tell you what, Connor Keith from his linebacker spot made that play. Made him run outside. He wanted to turn it up earlier. Connor made him run out wide where our corner could catch up with him. Yeah, and then Davis Duncan made him turn it back in into the, all the traffic. Yeah, that play looked like it was going to go for a few yards there. Yeah, on track by the Chargers. Yeah, Ronnie Ray trying to – we do not want to get him going the, the right direction. <laughs> That's right. The second and ten, Mackey and Ray in the backfield still. Uh, it's a handoff over the left side, and the Chargers are there. Hardy Bowers cutting Great low. Play. Yeah, first, uh, first time we've called Hardy's name. Also good penetration in there by 66 to Amari Smith. That line of scrimmage mark is starting to back up as soon as the ball <laughs> snapped. It's starting to go about two well, yards back into Millwood's backfield there. We talked about it, one of the keys of the game. I know Coach Bogert's been stressing it, saying these guys are big and strong. We've got to overpower yep, them in yep. the game. Yeah, we've got to take the physicality to them. Third and 11. Mackey and Ray again in the backfield. Mackey uh, Look for Millwood to air, to try to air it out here. Yeah, he's got time. Out route. He does throw it. Nice oh, play right good there. Good defense. Is that Davis again? Yep, Davis yeah, Davis Duncan. Great timing. It away. Gets a hand in there without getting his body there first, so no pass interference. Great play by Davis right there. I don't think that was going to be a first down, but it was going to be close, and it was going to be close enough to the 50 where they probably would have gone for it, and now they're going to yeah. punt. Yep, I like it. Good D by the Chargers. Forces the uh, fourth down and 11. Got Gavin Freeman back with Phillip. So two guys back to field the punt. Man, Mark, we got a lot of time in the second quarter for the Chargers to get some more points. Well, I hope they get them. Me too. <laughs> Looks like we will. We keep playing defense like we're playing defense. Yeah. yeah. Timeout. Something's going on. Timeout, Millwood. So, timeout. Uh, you're here to tell Chargers leading 13-0. to zero, uh, And I definitely want to go back to the sponsors. And thanks, uh, Texas Delphi Social Group, a presenting sponsor of Charger Business since 2013. Uh, Charger Division's only been around since 2013, so. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Tex-Mex meets Philly cheesesteak, and your taste buds are the winner. Stop by the Lower Bricktown uh, location and make every day a Texadelphia day. You need to read some of these. Quit being so shy. Well, <laughs> it's not that I'm shy. You're going to expose my uh, my reading skills. <laughs> I have no, no I didn't concern. go to Heritage Hall. I have so. no concerns, sir. <laughs> are, you, are you sure? <laughs> Extra special thanks to one of our exci most exciting sponsors, Heyday Entertainment. It's jam-packed with family fun, a bi-level laser tag, arena with bridges and ramps, mini golf, ropes course, arcade and pizza. Visit them in Lower Bricktown or Norman and watch the game, the Heyday Way. Football is upon us. It is. College last week. We got pro, pro this tonight. Week. Yeah. Got the, we got the uh, black and blue, the black and blue division tonight between Green Bay and Chicago, right? Yeah. 
That is a long-standing rivalry. Yes, it is. Actually, we should be checking. Yeah, we should be checking, checking that the score. score. I didn't. I forgot to forgot to record that. Long. That was a high snap again. Uh, no, it's a very high be a kick. Poor punt there. Get out of the way. Get out of the way of that one. Oh, takes a Millwood bounce. He definitely does. There. The wow. Pass midfield. That took a 15-yard Millwood bounce. bounce. Yeah. Yeah. So Chargers take over. Ball's gonna be right about the 48. Chargers 48. Yeah, another high snap there, so it threw the timing of that playoff right away. Three to zero. Talk about the black and blue division. You're, you're not good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the three Chicago yards Bears in a cloud of dust. Leading three zero. Uh, it's kind of getting close to the end of the first quarter. And Serena Williams dominated 6-3-6-1. Just to keep you updated with all the other sports going on. No, no surprise there. She's looking strong. Uh-huh. So first and ten, Jackson Joe in the backfield. Jackson Rabel's in the game. Looking to throw it. He's got nowhere to go. And oh. He, he gets hit, but gets he's still out of on there. his feet. Hey, Finally throws it. Oh. Has a man, but uh, uh, I think he was throwing that away as I, they were in I, hot pursuit. I don't know how he got out of there. I tell you why he got out of there is Perry Lewis was winding up for a haymaker, and when he did, Jackson felt it and spun out of it. But that was getting ready to be trouble. That man. was getting ready to be trouble right there. Well, he got hit in the head. Yeah, he, just kept, he kept his feet. And, yeah, uh, yeah, kept they were rolling was, out. Yeah, he was. Uh, he, they're taking him out of the game now. But uh, yeah, he was loading up a haymaker there. Well, that's uh, we dodged the bullet there. That was going to be a ten-yard loss. I was pretty impressed at the scrimmage last week with uh, Job's footwork. He's pretty elusive back there. Second and ten. Uh, this time it's a quick throw. Nice catch by Jagger Abel. Still Couldn't on his go feet. down. Yeah, he's at the first down and more. He's about the 32-yard line. Nice play right there. Good catch, and then he's on his feet. And uh, good job of running after yeah. the catch right there. Took a hit and kept going. Can't see who that is down the field. Something that ends in a two. I don't know either, but they're, man, they're struggling with their, uh, I say health. I don't know. That was a good quick throw. And Jack Rables hadn't quite the same deal where he hadn't quite turned around yet. He yeah. turns around, the ball's on him. Yeah, it sure is. Good timing route right there. Looks like that might be uh, Jeremiah Major, number 52. Another major on this team. Looks like that's who it is. There's a lot of majors you know, running through Millwood. Uh huh. And they're all they all seem to be big good, and strong. Good, good players, yeah. <laughs> uh, Church Division would like to thank sponsor Joe Cooper Ford for his um, for their support. Visit their Edmund Yukon Shawnee or Tulsa showroom or check them out online at JoeCooperFord.com to find your new ride. Joe Cooper Ford, home of the ten thousand dollar deal. Who loves you, Oklahoma? It's Joe Cooper Joe Ford. Cooper Ford. <laughs> that never gets old. Never. So, first and ten after uh, Jagger Abel's nice catch. Uh, picks up the first down. Ball at the 32. Jagger making the most of his playing time he's getting. That was a good throw and a good sure catch. Sure was, yeah. Great play. Jaden Williams back in there, running back, looks like. Phillips moving in motion. Oh, he's got nowhere to go. He, Joe, tell you what, man, it. he's elusive. Well, he's quick he's on gonna, his feet because he was under duress. Uh, Millwood's coaches want intentional grounding, but uh, he was way outside the tackle box. We actually didn't have a receiver over there, but. Satisfies a couple of rules. It goes past uh, well, the line of scrimmage and outside the tackle box. They're giving it to him. I mean, they're calling it on him. They lost it down. They're, yeah, they're backing it up. But so I maybe that's you. not a, maybe that's not a maybe that's not a not the same rules in high school football. But I thought it was. Wow, that's a uh, punitive. Very much so. And I thought it was where he. I think it's a loss of down, too. Well, but I thought it was where he let loose of the ball, like where he was going to be tackled, not necessarily a 15-yard penalty, which right. is what it looks like. Yeah, marching it off in the line of scrimmage. Second and 30. 30. Um, 
I don't like that call. No, I don't either. That's that's way back. So that must be from the spot of the foul. Spot of where you released it. So Jackson Joe, uh, this time it's a handoff right at the middle of Peyton Ernest, who's cutting up the oh, middle. Good play right nice there. cut. Gets uh, the ball down to about the 47. That's a quick feet. Right I'll right say, the yeah, he didn't have anything there. He made what he make there, five or six yards out of nothing. Like uh, Jaden Williams and uh, mm -hmm. Davis Duncan back into the lineup here. So third and 25. Our so options. Got five right there. We don't have a lot of them, but Coach Bogert's not afraid to take this in two downs. Trips right. Philip Smith is wide out there. We'll see what happens over there. He's looking over there. Same route. Same route they scored a touchdown on. Oh, Peyton Ernest. Same uh, play. Up, tried to go up high, but did not come up with the football. Yeah, same play. They run that wheel route off of those other two guys right there. You know, the defense streaking down better field. spot. Yeah. Ball was thrown a little inside too, it looks like. Fourth and twenty-five. What do you what do you call you call him <laughs> fake here again? <laughs> Look at punt. Nothing would surprise me. Millwood's got some punt safe over there. Look at there. Yeah. They got They've seen they, this movie before. Yeah, they've seen oh. this thing before. I bet Max Bates is covered. What do you think? Yeah. You can cover eighty three this time? Jackson Joe back to punt and does punt. Rugby punt. That's a good punt. They're going to get a it charger bounce. bounce. Look at here. Phillips, Phillips down Smitherman there. down there. Yeah. Seven yard line? Yes. Great punt. Nice punt from the uh, about the 50 down to the uh, seven. Jackson Joe, he's not coming off the field very much either. <laughs> he's not. He didn't get to rest there, and he goes right back in to play defensive back. So five minutes and 44 seconds. We didn't take much time uh, off the clock, but uh, – Millwood starting deep in their own territory. I feel much better if we got another touchdown before the end of the first half. Yeah, that uh, grounding penalty is, I think, what uh, kind of goofed up our took, took it Took us out of the rhythm there. Yeah. So Mackey in the backfield. I think with Ronnie Ray. Oh, they left like, early. Yeah, Ronnie Ray looks like he's leaning. I don't see a flag, but they left. Is, is, you, is there one down? No, but their receiver on the left side of their left, about a half a count early. Well, they didn't, and the referee's looking right at Ronnie it. Ronnie Ray was uh, certainly leaning, but nice uh, throw. it is a completion. Yeah. So Good. first and ten. Big Melvin's going to come out of the game. He had some penetration there. Looks like he got sh shaken up a little bit. Keep an eye on that. First and ten, ball now to 21. Yeah, no, I can. Good coming pass rush him. right here. Oh, we got oh, to bring him no. down. How did Mackey, he get out of that? Oh, there's a flag on the play. Mackey a does get out of that. He's got some good and, speed, uh, too. Oh, he's showing it right there. Gets pushed out of bounds, but hopefully the penalty will bring him back. It's got to be Washington a, pushed him, uh, it's pushed gotta him be out. A, it's got to be a hold. Oh, oh my gosh. They're going to call it. We, we picked up a flag and threw it, so that's going to be a Connor penalty Keith. on Connor Keith. That's frustrating. Yeah, because I thought that was going to be a hold, didn't you? Uh, yeah. I mean, I did. Only reason it wouldn't have been a hold is if we had a face mask or a jersey or something in there. But well, you can't pick up the flag and throw it, that's for sure. We'll see what, how this goes. And I assume that's some sort of uh, unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah. I mean, that hold is going to push him back. Ten from there. Yeah, at about the 11. But now, if they're going to be yeah, they offsetting or what, I don't know. Play before that, they started it from their own seven-yard line. Well, they've got to out to the 21 on the right. pass play. Right, sure. And now we're, we would have been back all the way up. Yep. They Holding, been. yeah. But, yeah, it's Connor Keith. Offset. With, uh, Still first down. I don't know. That, that could gain him 10 yards if it's – <laughs> I mean, five yards if it goes back 10 and then pushes him Push up back 15. Yeah, fit, yeah, that's right. Let's see what kind of net game we have here. It looks like they're, they're still at the 21. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just offset. Yeah, they just went back to right where the uh, play was run. Still first down, though. I prefer first and 20 to first and 10. 
We had we had second and thirty a while ago. Huge crowd, Mark. This is a big crowd. There's people all over the fences and yeah. That's nowhere where we like no, it. Nowhere to sit in any grand either grandstand. Maybe a little bit in front of us here behind the students, but. So they're going to call it first and nine, ball at the 22-yard line. Uh, we talked about containing the quarterback, and uh, that could be Ooh. picked off. Oh, nice catch. Almost got there. Man, that was a nice catch, but I thought uh, Olayna Lahadi had a beat on that. I, I thought he was too. going to catch it. He got there right right uh, at the same time the receiver did, but the receiver came up with it, but there's another penalty flag. Looked like to me. Procedure on the Falcons. That is okay with me. Uh It'll back them up. Another first down, but they've got a little farther to go. That's why these quarters are going so slow. Lots of penalties. <laughs> uh, we talked about last year's game was a, a record breaker in time yeah. for, for due to injuries and penalties and turnovers. Yeah. Well, we'll see how this one goes. It's like watching an NFL preseason game. <laughs> Working nothing out but, the kinks. Nothing but penalties. So. First and 14 now, ball on the 17-yard line. Mackey uh, hands it off and uh, taken down. Is that Will Dunn that took him down? No, I don't think so. It didn't look, didn't look big enough. There's Will in there. I don't know if it was Hardy or Will. It looked like, yeah, it was Hardy and uh, the 33 Nick Keith. Nick Keith and Connors Hardy Bowers. Bowers. Yeah, yep. Hardy Bowers. Yeah. Yeah, little brother's getting some playing time yeah. because uh, <laughs> because of the personal foul. Second and ten. We're cheating in like we want to go get uh, go get some. Blitz on the outside. Yeah. Connor see if he actually see if he actually comes. They got trips right there. Henderson in the backfield is now in motion. They look to throw it his way. He's he catches it. it. He's got a blocker, but then he's still oh, wow, good for taking yeah. down. Uh, Hardy Phillips Bowers. Smith Hardy Bowers. Host of Chargers. That's good defense. He caught it, but he didn't make it very far after that. A.J. Searles in on that play, too, from his linebacker spot. That was some good pursuit right there. That play looked like it was going to go for something. It's that team speed and pursuit by the Chargers right there. Third and seven, ball at the 24-yard line. We're trying to get all set up. See if we can get a pass rush here. They're, Will uh, Dunn's Mackey got one going. To throw. Oh, picked, off. picked off right there. That's a great yeah. interception. Chargers down to about the, still on his feet, about the 10-yard line. Great interception. That it's was 33. Uh, Nick Keith, yeah. sophomore linebacker. He also plays wide receiver. He used those wide receiver well, hands right there. That was that, a good catch. That was a great catch. Sure was. We just talked about him making a good tackle, and now he makes an interception. Perfect. Came in for his brother, and it uh, paid off for him. Took advantage of his opportunity right there. Yeah, well done. First and goal from the 10 yard line now after the interception. Connor goes over there and gives him some love. So Surprised they threw that route right there. Good coverage right there by the Chargers. Yeah, it was in a little bit of traffic and uh, had some traffic. The good sure. guys came up with it. That's right, guys in blue. Guys in blue. First and goal. Job and Peyton Ernest in the backfield. It's a quick throw. Philip Smitherman, who catches it, gets hit. And goes down right about the four-yard line. That's a nice play right there. It's a quick hitter. He was engaged there. That's Bagby. Uh, Jagger Ables was blocking him. He was able to fight that off and tackle Philip at the five-yard line. Man, look at that. There are four guys coming off and four yeah. more coming in. Yeah. I like to keep them fresh, but we got to make sure we have the right gotta, number in the we gotta huddle. got to make sure we don't have too many in the huddle here. It's the second goal for the Chargers. Looks like Robert Embro. We'll see if he's. Uh, you got Robert back in there, quarterback. See if he's, he wants actually, to throw he's actually, this time. Under, he's actually under center. Uh oh. The fumble. See if the Chargers look like they got it back. Yeah. Looks like we better go back to the shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thought the uh, shotgun would be a uh, safer snap there than going under center? <laughs> Mackey might disagree for the Falcons. I guess but when you're, I guess when you're used to it. 
It's what you get used to. Yeah, Robert now coming off. We'll see what the personnel package comes in, but that's now third and goal. And right about the five and a half. Man, how'd you like to be an opposing team defensive coordinator? <laughs> Try to keep track of all these personnel packages the Chargers are throwing yeah. at you. You've got Job in there. He's looking to throw. Kobe Lewis there is, is back Colby's there, too. Colby's open. Oh, no, that's not Colby. It's caught by 14 Jagger Abels. Jagger Abels. Kobe Lewis was in the backfield, though. First time we've yep. seen him. Nice he, out right there, out right, right there by Jagger Abels. Yeah, he was open for a second. Colby was, but it was closing fast, so he throws it to Nice rollout, too. To Jagger. Boy, he throws well on the run, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, that's nice Jagger Abels. Blake Adams. Man, man all yeah, all all, 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 Blake Adams. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blake's got a couple of couple of more state championship rings on his thing, on his hands though. <laughs> so far, so far. Kick is up and good. good. Nice snap and hold. Special teams for the Chargers. 20-0. Jagger Abels with the four-yard uh, TD catch. Did not have to go for two there. There's that touchdown we were looking for before the half. There now it we is. got games moving so slow. We might have time for one more. You know, that interception uh, helped get good field position, helped make a lot of things happen. Good work, Nick Keith. Well, howdy, that was a great interception. That's what you want. You want your linebackers with the good soft hands playing wide receiver, too. You said it. Um, I like it. Rick, I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's really, really good. Uh-oh. So I also want to uh, thank Fields and Futures for supporting Charger Vision. Check them out at fieldsandfutures.org uh, to find out how they're uh, empowering coaches and kids to be something bigger than themselves. Fields and Futures, one field, one coach, one student at a time. Visit the Charger Corner Campus Store to get the latest Charger gear. Did you know all the profits go directly to the teachers, classrooms, and programs like Charger Vision? Store hours are 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on school days. Get your Charger Pride on, Mark. I'm wearing it, sir. You got some stuff in lay. You got some stuff on layaway in there, I bet. Yeah. I'm, uh, Stock up for the season. Yeah. Right. They got it. They have a uh, have a nice uh, ten out here. Ten out here. Get your Charger gear. Don't go out of bounds. Luke, stay in bounds. Good punt. It's about taking it, take it to the wide side. Line. Got some pursuit right there from oh, Connor Keith. Lahadney brings him down oh, one-handed. Nice. There we go. Great Keith play right there. Stretch him out and bring yeah. him down. Landon got him with one arm there. Great play right there. What? Yeah, got him before he got to the boundary. If he would have turned that up the sidelines, that was going to be a uh, long gainer. Yeah. Uh, Rick, do you have knee, hip, or shoulder pain? Uh, yes. All of the above. Don't stick it out. D. Go to Bone and Joint uh, <laughs> Hospital at St. Anthony's. They can help uh, with sports injuries uh, or those everyday pains in the neck. Give them a call, 272-9671, uh, or visit them online. I've had all of those things, and yeah. I've been called a pain in the neck and before. And you still have it. <laughs> so, yeah. Some things don't yeah. go away as fast that's, as they uh, used to. That's right, yeah. We, first, may, we might need to give them a call. Yeah. <laughs> first and 10 uh, for the 15-yard line. Mackey throws it up. And uh, picked Joe off Joe Washington, again. all right. Joe steps in front of that right one. Right at the 35-yard line. You already, you said they've got, uh, they've got enough time. We to got go enough time, more, and uh, we got another, the ball back in a hurry. Another Oski by the Chargers. Man, I think that is a great Boy, plan had, to make Boy, Mackey it. throw it. And that's see right. See if he can uh, beat us with his arm. Yeah, that's right. He underthrew that ball there. Joe Washington supplying great coverage there. Just was able to step in. Actually, it looked like Joe was the yeah. intended receiver there. He, he knew what was coming he, he before was, the receiver. He yeah. knew it was coming. Yeah. Two great plays by the Chargers. Back-to-back -back interceptions. Consecutive possessions by the Falcons. Well done going in. Looks like Jaden Williams is going to go one of the running back spots. Yep. We're, we're going to see it there. I'd like yeah. to see him carry the ball a little bit tonight. Yeah, he can run it up the middle yes, strong. Yes, he can, yeah. But uh, I also see Joe Washington wanting to pay that off. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah and they're Post looking route, they're looking for him. They throw it up there. Is that Phillip? Yeah, a little oh, bit Oh, he over gets thrown. hung up, but, yeah, I think uncatchable. You're right. Yeah, Joe was, uh, Joe was open on that post route, too. Going to be a flag. Got a holding call right there. Uh, yeah, that looks looks like it. Coach Brett came out to the numbers on the field there. I don't know who 
who they were going to get for that. I wish we had a replay. Didn't see who was guilty of the hold right there. Hardy Bowers coming in. He plays with some fullback. Uh, Robert Ambrose coming back in at quarterback. Update on the Packers Bears. You got the Packers uh, leading seven to three. Eleven minutes left before halftime. <laughs> oh, got somebody else at. Oh, we got at twelve there, but we didn't break the huddle with him. Yeah, yeah but that's. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of action. Like we've talked about it, it's hard to not get a penalty doing that when you're <laughs> running that many people in. And there's lots of personnel out there, in and out, in and out. So first and twenty-five after the penalty. Uh, this time it's a handoff. Got some running room on the left side here. Waiting for his blockers. Yep. Gets around there. Phillip cuts it back up, still on his feet. Nice move. Nice cut. Gets about the 32-yard line. Actually, he actually, the sideline was his friend there. Actually went right to it and then cut back off of it. Let the defense flow in front of him on that nice cutback run there. Yeah. That's going to be a lot more manageable. Nice run, Phillip. He's got some good instincts with the ball in his hands. If I didn't know any better, I'd say his dad played football. And baseball <laughs> at OU at, yeah. a high, at, at a high level. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hello, Don. Good work. Yeah. But he's probably not. I, I'd be a toss up if he's a better athlete than Lauren, his sister. We'll have, we'd have to see. He probably would, oh, <laughs> Philip's not going to be happy snap. with that. One. Jackson Joe gets rid of it and it's completes it to Joe Washington, who gets out of bounds right about the 25 yard line. That is a, a nice play on yeah. a rough snap. Yeah. To mess up the timing of everything. Use his baseball skills there, field that snap. <laughs> it's pretty hot coming back there. Yeah. He gets hot and low. in a hurry. It's a nice catch by Joe Washington as well. So third and one. Yeah, that ball does come out of his hands in a hurry. Throws a beautiful ball. Well, bringing in Jake Williams, you may watch him. Uh, yeah, I'd like to see, him, right to see him get him his uh, first carry right here. Get us a first down. A minute 20. He's got some speed, too. He might break it off for longer than that. They give they it to him. Give right it to him. Yeah, he's right at the middle, oh, and he cuts back. Right there. He's yeah, going. There go. Run over him. There we go, Jaden. He's still yeah, on his feet. There we go. All right. Took nice run. Three Falcons hit him at the five, and nobody got him down. But uh, you see that cutback lane yeah. right there talking about instincts. Ball in your hand. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's yeah, a that great, great six yard run. run. Ball play starts over left tackle and ends up cutting it back. Great cutback lane right there. Great run by Jaden. I like to see that his buddies are out saying, give Man. him the flex. Give him yeah. the fle he flexed on him that time, Mark. Uh, that uh, that was supposed to go for four yards. And yeah. Instead, it goes yeah. for 26 yeah. and a touchdown. That's a nice cut. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It was third and one. Luke Butler up and good. Special Chargers. teams. Yeah, Chargers now leading 27 to zero. Snap and hold. Good kick right there. Coach Boger happy with what he sees so far. I mean, Luke uh, Butler, we, this maybe the sole soccer player on the team. <laughs> he's got. Uh, he's not going to be happy with some of the penalties, but right. uh, I think he's going to be happy with the score. Going to definitely be happy with the score. Much different game than last year. Is Blake Adams on the sidelines? Yeah, I saw him down there. Bunch of guys down there off that state championship team. See Zane Wade down there. Bryce Serranis is down there. Good to see Bryce. Yeah. I wish he would have been playing. Man, yeah. he was, <laughs> man, he was quick, wasn't he? <laughs> he was. Man. He's a guy I like to watch in the open field. Because he had all kinds of moves. Garrett McGinnis. They could have a good team on right down there. <laughs> Seth Meacham. Like Trey Marion. Egg, yeah. I think these guys want to uh, suit those guys up they, at halftime. They want to, Actually, yeah. don't need them, though. <laughs> well, not based on this score. But yeah, don't need them. I think Coach Berger would be happy to have any of them oh, back. Oh, yeah. Just puts it up in the air. Oh. There we come. Oh, that looked like a block in the back. I think he, tri I think he tripped, actually. Still, still on his on feet his right feet. there. See if Jagger can get him. Jagger nice. tried to run him out of bounds. Oh, he does. There nice we go. Nice tackle. That's Journey Jensen with a nice run after uh, the Chargers. If Jagger didn't get him, kick it and uh, yeah, I think Luke. Uh, I think the kicker might have gotten him. Mark, if Jagger wouldn't have, but uh, great touchdown saving play there. 
Well, I agree that uh, you do not want to give up a touchdown with less than no, a minute. No, uh, no, no. And of course, we still no. got some defense to do, but especially when you're pitching a shutout in the yeah. first half against Millwood, that doesn't happen very often. Yes, I mean Millwood, as we've talked about, they're uh, high have a great record, and they won two a two years in a row. Yeah, uh, not last year, but uh, still very talented. Yeah, they got a high flying offense for sure. So we got 57 seconds to try to hold them back. Well done. Mackey, in the, Mackey yeah. to throw. Good pass. He gets, get a foot get down. A foot in. It yeah, looks like he looks did. Like so. That's a nice catch. Well, well done. Almost got home there, too, on the pass rush. That's uh, Godwin with the catch. It's about uh, eight yards. 51 seconds left. And uh, Mackey got rid of that just in time. Will Dunn had a beat on him. Uh, I do not want to see no, Mackey and Will Dunn. I do not. Either. No. They I, are, I know who's going to get the better end of that. They are not <laughs> similar body types. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's not a fair match. Second and three. Mackey mm -hmm. looking to throw again. He's blitz back. up the middle. Hardy Bowers broke that play up. He blew it up. He's uh, He gets out of bounds. Looks like he's just got enough for the first down. We'll see where they mark it. Yeah, now, they're that's giving a, it to him. That's a well-timed blitz right there by Hardy Bowers. But, uh, that's what Mackey, though, that's the only thing that scares me about him. And like I said, I'd rather him throw it than see that because yeah. that makes me nervous. Yeah, he's got some wheels for sure. Mackey, they're saying 6'3", 155. He is pretty slender. Yeah. Well. You show me a, a Millwood quarterback that without wheels, <laughs> he, they always have no wheels. No such thing. There's right? no such thing. First great and athlete. They're coming again for more him. pass rush. He's throwing it. Oh man, I thought. Uh, I think thought 81 Phillip broke off his route yeah. there. Well, I was gonna say I thought Phillips Smithman might be in a position for that one. Yeah. Jackson Joe actually threw it. Maybe threw it to the wrong guy there, possibly. So 39 seconds left. We get second and ten. Some new Chargers coming in. Hunter Boyer, freshman, freshman coming yeah. in. I saw him at the scrimmage the other night. I think he's going to get some play, some uh, meaningful playing time as a freshman. Good-looking athlete. Second and ten. Mackey dropping back, looking to throw again. Nice catch. Oh, he did he catch? He did hold on to that it. That was a That's, beautiful catch. It was 81. That's Man. Bailey Brown that, uh, in traffic. Keith almost got his second interception. I know. Well, I was waiting to see <laughs> who rolled over with it. Yeah, it was a uh, that was a 50-50 ball right there. Uh, I, they, man, I can't tell if they're giving the first down or not. Timeout, Millwood, 31 seconds left. See if close. We, they haven't moved the sticks, but it's, it seems like it's right on the line. Well, we see. We want to see if we can get our clean sheet, keep our clean sheet here. 27-0 first half. See if we can keep the Falcons out of the end zone here. The Chargers defense plays very well uh, tonight. They have not uh, – I mean, any, any momentum they've gotten has been a penalty, and then uh, we've got a few interceptions. Is, uh, yeah, two turnovers. well. Three turnovers, right? We get we recover the long snap, the snap that was uh, right sailed over Mackey's head. Yeah, AJ Searle's got that. And yeah, we had Keith with an interception. We have another one. Uh, Joe Washington. Yeah, yeah. I, stepped I thought in, we had another Stepped one. in front of that uh, yeah. curl route. I think Will Dunn is ready to get in the backfield. Yeah, he is. He is. Things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, they keep they keep sending a back out to chip him, so he's got he's got a little a little bit of interference when yeah. he comes in the backfield, which that's smart. Yeah, the <laughs> to do that, two guys to do yeah. that. Yeah, I agree. That's good coaching for the Falcons. First and ten, they are going to give him the first down ball at the thirty yard line. We've got thirty one seconds left before halftime. Mackey throwing it again. Throws it up there, but that's picked Job. off maybe. Is that Jackson Looks like Job? Jackson Job it with is. a high flying Man. interception right there uh, and kept it in bounds, Mark. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, uh, Journey Jensen is running a different route. I think he was supposed to break that off, or yeah. it was a bad throw, one yeah. of the two. I think a little of both. I think the Falcon receivers look like a little bit little bit of confusion on what routes what routes to go to, what routes to run, who's hot and who's not. Yeah. 
But, uh, yeah. yeah. That was a great interception right there. Athletic play Job by Joe. Went Job. Up high, yeah. And kept his feet in bounds to uh, gain possession. See what we do here deep in our own territory with 25 seconds left. I would like to say they're going to knee it, but I never well, anybody know. Well, any, anybody that's watched Charger football would not be surprised if that isn't the case. So if you're see, a first-time Charger yeah. Vision viewer, don't be surprised if we do something here. We see what happens. So, 27-0. Oh, it does a Went busted the wrong play. Way. Busted yep. play. It's going to turn into Joe some yardage. to make the best of it. And he does. He gets out of gets bounds. Gets out of bounds smartly. This is not the time to get injured. Somebody went the wrong way. Yeah, running back at the quarterback. Somebody was. Got a 50-50 shot at who went the wrong way, but I'm not going to guess. I, don't, I couldn't tell. So 20 seconds left after the uh, clock stop and after Joe went out of bounds, but he does gain seven. The second and three. All the former quarterbacks that are out there, they're blaming that, blaming that on the running back. Of course. Here we go. Jaden uh, pops through yeah. the next level. Takes a big hit. Still not going down. a big hit. Wow. Four guys to bring him down. So he does get the first and, down. Ball yeah. about the 27 to 28 yard line. Jaden's looking good. He's getting to that next level. He's not just a uh, he's not just a between the tackles runner. He's going to deliver a blow when he gets to the next yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. I bet the uh, cornerbacks are not wanting to tackle that. No, no. If, if I'm playing corner there, I'm, I'm acting like I'm <laughs> tripping and falling before I get to him. I wanted to get him, but I just tripped. Yeah. I, just, I was going for a shoestring. I, I didn't yeah, get it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't get a shoestring. Of course, I was five yards from there. But <laughs> That's going to wrap up uh, the first half. Heritage Hall playing very well, uh, leading 27-0 against the Millwood Falcons. Uh, we will go to commercial and uh, come to a recap of uh, – uh, the first half and uh, tell you what we're expecting in the second half. Come back. We're changing healthcare and our name. Now we are SSM Health St. Anthony. The party are on the inside is still the same. The community of saints in action. We have always been a part of SSM Health. Making healthcare more accessible. When and where you need it. SSM Health St. Anthony. We are Saints in action. Thanks, teachers. <laughs> Uh, welcome back to Pup Murray Memorial uh, Stadium. Uh, we've got our honorary captain of the game, Tegan Lawson, with us, and uh, he's going to help me recap the first half a little bit. Tegan, what did you think of this first half? Good. Good. Tell me more. What did you think? Um, they're doing really good at defense. They are. They're no points for the uh, Millwood Falcons. you see yourself on there? Yeah. You're looking good? Um. All right, so tell me a little bit about fifth grade and uh, what's going on uh, at Heritage Hall, fifth grade. I'm really liking it. Good, that's good. Who's your favorite teacher? It's Carla. Oh, good answer. Uh, I, that's what you're supposed to say. Uh, what's your favorite subject, do you think? English. English, good. Tell, who's your English teacher? Mr. Henson. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, now tell me what your favorite sport is. Football. Do you like playing it or do you like watching it? Both. Both? Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, in fifth grade, you're going to get a chance to play some in the next year or two for the Chargers, I hope. Yeah. What, what position do you play? Quarterback. Nice. You throw a good spiral? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, are you fast? Can you run? Yeah. Good, good, good. All right. Yeah, you have any brothers or sisters? I have three brothers and two sisters. Okay. Wow. There's a lot of you. There's a lot of Lawsons out there. Well, any, anything you want to make a shout out to anyone? Any of your brothers, sisters, parents, grandparents? Go Chargers. Yes. Any, any, you want to call anyone in particular? Any friends? Um, no? No. Oh. How long have you been going to Heritage Hall? Preschool. Since preschool? Yeah. Well, you're a lifer? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, you must like it here. 
Yeah. Well, I like the score, 27 to zero. Uh, what else you want to talk about? Mm, I don't know. Well, what's your favorite chore at home? That's what I want to know. Oh, uh, uh, there isn't one? No. Well, you better find one. It'll make your parents happy. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, this is Tegan Lawson. He's, uh, uh, I don't know what else he wants to talk about, but uh, I like the score. It's 27 to zero, the Chargers leading. Yeah. And uh, I'm hoping for more of the same in the second half. What about you? Yeah. All right, I want the defense uh, a shutout and I want the offense to keep scoring. Um, what do you think about that? Awesome. I, mean, I agree, you're gonna suit up probably the way this game's going. Yeah. Get ready. All right, Tegan Lawson, our honorary captain. Uh, we will go to commercial, but I appreciate you coming in. Hey, thank you. You are welcome. Nice work. Yeah, thank when you walk into Fuzzy's Taco Shop, you'll know you're in the right place. With the best Baja-style menu in town, we'll have the whole family addicted. Order up. Nachos, tacos, burritos, it doesn't matter. It's like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. We know you've had a long day, and you deserve a break. So, bring the crew to one of the Fuzzy's Taco Shop locations in Norman, Oklahoma City, or Stillwater. Welcome to your new addiction. You're gonna find a whole lot to love right now during truck trading time at Joe Cooper Ford. You can trade your keys for the keys to a new truck. Then Joe will beat any other dealer's best deal by $500 guaranteed. Get more for your trade-in, lower your monthly payment, and make no payment for 90 days. Plus, we believe in service after the sale. When you bring your new Joe Cooper Ford in for service, you get a courtesy loaner car and a car wash. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Come see us at Joe Cooper Ford. Welcome back to Charter Vision. We are at Pop Murray Memorial Field. You're here to tell Chargers leading 27 to nothing. We're about to watch a uh, field goal kick from Jalen Johnson to see if she can get it uh, between the uprights, and I'm not sure what she wins. I don't know. $500, $500 of spending money. She from looks like uh, she's a Wee woman. Is that Weoki Credit Union? Your vision is better than mine. Yeah. I have no idea. But we'll see. She's lining it up. Looks like she knows. It. She's got the steps going. Well. Septienne is uh, ready to kick. <laughs> there she goes. Soccer player. Get there. Made it. That looks good to me. Oh, yeah. Nicely that was done. right through there. Yeah. Jayla Johnson, $500. That'll buy you some Fuzzy's Tacos right oh, there. Oh, that'll buy us that'll some buy, Fuzzy Tacos. That'll, that'll buy you some Fuzzy's Tacos right there. I'm not sure she's thinking of us, but congratulations. Man, that's awesome. Uh, well, did I lose my... Did I lose my job as color commentary? Yeah, Tegan says I'm, out. Uh, I'm much better than Rick Hansing. Well, I guess I can call it a night then, go down to the concession stand, I guess. Go get your fuzzies early because yeah. <laughs> Tegan is replacing you. I'm out. Do you think he – it's kind of a slow game. Do you think he can stay out this late? Um, I hope I can stay out this late. <laughs> Luckily, the Chargers are uh, doing such a good job. It's not too exciting at this point. 27-0. She is a soccer player. I know who, I know her. Well, she kicked yeah. it like a soccer player. Yeah. She knew what she was doing. Yeah. Uh, so, I can do a quick recap for you, Rick. Let's uh, do her. You sure it's going to be quick? Well, so we had a lot going on. There was uh, – <laughs> I don't know if you want me to go through all the penalties. No, that, let's not uh, do that. <laughs> that could take a little while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chargers start out uh, uh, on a great first drive, and uh, it ends with Jackson Job uh, – throw to uh, Peyton Ernest for a 14-yard touchdown catch. Then we lead 7-0 in the first quarter. 
Then uh, uh, not much after that except some penalties. And then um, the second uh, quarter starts, and we have uh, Robert Embro with a one-yard run and then the uh, failed two-point conversion, but it makes it 13-0 Chargers. And then we have uh, uh, Nick Keith with an interception, brings it down to the 10-yard line, and then uh, Jagger Abels with a four-yard catch from Jackson Joe, which makes it 20-0. And uh, we then get a 26-yard run from Jaden Williams on a great run up the middle, and he cuts it back to the right. And yeah, uh, there's great nobody run. there. He, he, people are bouncing off of him left and right. And he, uh, yeah, the cutback lane was wide open right there for him. Nice read. That's where we are at 27-0. Uh, the Falcons had a few injuries, and they uh, are struggling to get the offense moving. Um, and that's good news for the Chargers. Their defense has just been swarming. Got a phone call at halftime. Jack Hansing says, hey, now, to Mr. Carlin. Well, <laughs> by all means, tell Jack. He's watching, he's watching down in Dallas, watching Charger Vision. He's watching Charger Vision instead of the pro game. Well, how about that? I think he uh, he likes me better than you. I'm just saying. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> uh, we miss him. We miss his leg. Tell yeah, him good luck down there at SMU. That's right. I, w I will. He needs it. <laughs> Yeah, he's doing a great job down there, it sounds like, from what you're telling me. Well, he's not doing as good a job as Garrett McLaughlin. Gar Garrett McLaughlin had a hat trick the other night in the soccer game. Sun Monday night, they beat Houston Baptist 7-1. to one. Garrett McLaughlin, former Charger soccer player, had the hat trick. And football player. And football uh, player, but had three goals the other night. That's uh, very, strong. Very, very impressive. Yeah, he was strong. I don't know, man, that's yeah, he's awesome. finally healthy for his senior year, so. Good, good, good. Doing well, great. Good luck to him. Yeah, he's doing great. And all former Chargers at uh, the SMU squad. Absolutely. Um, all right. Lovely Mrs. Carlin joining me. Yes. Uh, she, Refreshments uh, in the booth. I just interviewed Tegan Lawson uh, in your class. Uh, he said you were his favorite teacher. That's a, uh, he's, he's also smart. <laughs> you surely wasn't, you sure that wasn't Eddie Haskell? Yeah, well, <laughs> I was prompting him from before that. <laughs> right. um, all right, so tell me what you're expecting to see in the second half, Rick. Man, I tell you, Mark, uh, Millwood is, is outmanned tonight by the Chargers. Uh, I think they lot of I think they lost a lot of talent from last year. Obviously, uh, a lot of D1 and, talent. A lot of D1 talent. Yeah, that uh, are going to be playing on Saturdays. And uh, I, th I do think they I do think they had some key guys hurt early, and I haven't seen a couple of them back. Right. So that could you know that can really hurt you. Uh, when you've got a lot of kids that you don't have a whole lot of depth, which Heritage Hall doesn't either, and we have a lot of guys going both ways. And so, you know, if you get a guy to go down and he doesn't come back in, then you're missing him on offense and if you're missing, missing right. him on both sides of the ball. So that can really impact you too. So um, I'm, sure that, uh, I'm sure that that's causing them some problems. But uh, Heritage Hall is just uh, – I wouldn't say they're firing on all cylinders because, you know, we've had some, you know, we've had some penalties. We've had uh, – that's some personnel problems, uh, which is, which you're going to have in the first game, you right. know. Uh, but uh, still, you want to want to get that cleaned up. So, hopefully, we'll get that cleaned up in the uh, second half. And uh, I'd look for maybe some, you know, maybe maybe for some of the uh, go a little deeper for some of the younger guys to get to play some. Right. That's what. And Coach Boger's very good about that. When yes, we have he the is. lead, uh, making those young guys get them ready for the future. Uh, but I'm, they are. They're playing well, I agree. They, and they've had a lot of, we've talked about it the whole time, they've had a lot of personnel changes. Yeah. And so it's not surprising that they may get mixed up the first game just trying to get all that kinks worked out. That's right. And, you know, 27 nothing lead, you know, on a team like Millwood, you know, uh, they can hit you in a hurry. They got some, you know, they got some players over there, so they can they can quick hit you for some points. So maybe we maybe we take uh, maybe take the starters maybe into the fourth quarter. Uh, if we continue, you know, if we continue playing as well as we have been playing on defense, right? Uh, but uh, like you said, we've gotten some interceptions, gotten some turnovers, got a lot of guys around the football. We do. Uh, we've got a lot of guys, got a, a lot of guys, max effort on defensive side tonight. Yeah, and we've been fortunate on the flip side that uh, we, our team's been paying attention because we put the ball in the turf twice, but we've come up with it. Yeah, uh, that's right. So that's, right. that's uh, uh, three turnovers we've gotten from the Millwood Falcons and uh, two that uh, we could have uh, given to them, yeah. but uh, alertly we fell on the ball and uh, didn't give any momentum to them. I think we're getting some uh, superior quarterback play from both of our quarterbacks, uh, yeah. Jackson and Robert, both the packages that they have for both of those kids suit them very well. They execute it very well. And uh, those are two gifted guys to have back there, you know, uh, play calling. So well, I think playing. Chargers are very, very, uh, very uh, lucky to have those guys. Yeah, you're not kidding about like uh, using the strength of each guy. I mean, you're exactly right. The packages right. fit the, the personnel perfectly. 
Uh, the yeah. only downside is you got to rotate a lot of guys in and out for the different packages. That's what they're working out the kinks of. Right. Yeah. So, so the uh, offensive coordinator is looking at the position coach, and you know you got to get everybody. You got to <laughs> get. That's not me. You, that's, yeah, on that's, you. that's on you. That's on you. Yeah. You got to get everybody. Yeah. You got to move everybody. A lot of moving parts, as we say. <laughs> uh, and we. I'm sorry to say, if you're if they start rotating in some of the younger guys, that could uh, that could continue a little bit in the. Uh, uh, at the end of this game, we're going to have to get our light out so we can see our roster. We can see our, we can see our, we can see our two deep. So, uh, uh, but it is a lot cooler though. Yeah, yeah, it feels good. It's a great night for football. Yeah, it really is. Turned into an awesome night, and uh, like I said, I said a couple times, but man, what a great crowd! Got got uh, people leaning on the fence all the way around the north uh, end zone. Got yep. lots of Millwood fans out. They've got their pa- they, their stands are packed. Plus, they're well, leaning on the fences over there too. So, uh, well, great, uh, great game. I, I, we probably have a lot of people here from other schools too. So it's you know since it's Thursday night, right? And then uh, that reminds me of the big 50th, 50th anniversary stuff that's going on. I've got a few things to read about that. Uh, Charger athletes and their coaches are invited to celebrate Heritage Hall's 50th anniversary tomorrow evening. A special thanks uh, thanks coach event. So. Uh, a reunion of coaches and players with special guests and highlights uh, of some of the most exciting moments in Charger uh, sports history. Register online uh, at heritagehall.com, HH50, uh, and join us tomorrow night from 6 to 8 at the MAC. Uh, it's going to be the Thanks Coach event. That's going to be on uh, Friday night. And then all Chargers and their families are invited back to campus to celebrate our 50th birthday this Saturday, September 7th. That's from 9 a.m. to noon. Our 50th birthday celebration includes breakfast, activities for kids at the lower school, a reunion of past and current faculty, a memorabilia exhibit, campus tours, an alumni art exhibit, several screenings of the Heritage Hall retrospective video, and a birthday party. Uh, Register online for that at heritagehall.com slash hh50 and join us for the campus this Saturday. That's Saturday from 9 to noon, and then we have the big gala on uh, Saturday night. So it'll uh, the culmination of the four-day celebration, and that wraps up Saturday night. Uh, the Chargers, 21 and older, are invited to join us for that at the Bricktown Event Center, and that starts at 7 p.m. There's entertainment, friendship, and celebration for Chargers old and new. It's an event that only happens once every 50 years, but uh, definitely go and register. All right, so right now I'm going to be interviewing uh, Jalen Johnson, who uh, has got a very strong leg. We just kicked that uh, field goal uh, right through there. Nice work. Thank you. Uh, so did you win $500? Is that the word on the street? Yeah, nice I did. Nice job. Well, tell me about your uh, soccer skills or your kicking skills. Well, I like went out and practiced every day. I even went back further than I should and started kicking from there first, and then I slowly eased my way up and just kicked it through. Yeah, made it easy. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping. That's awesome. Uh, well, how long have you been practicing? Uh, about a week now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then you play soccer here? I do, yes. How long do you play? Uh, my whole life I've played about like 14 years. Nice. Well, you uh, you got a strong leg. Thank that thing, you. That cleared by a long way. <laughs> I was hoping. <laughs> no, great job. Thank uh, you. And how'd you get picked for this? I don't know the, what happened. Uh, there's a raffle at the school, and you okay. just enter your name, and they just luckily picked me. No, great yeah. job. <laughs> Man, you did not crumble under pressure. I was shaking out <laughs> there, but I still did it. <laughs> nice job. And I guess you're a senior this year? Yes. Nice. All right, do you know what you're going to do next year? Uh, I'm either going to go to OSU or Freed Hardman in Tennessee and play soccer. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Well, that's, yeah, that sounds fun. Either one sounds fun. Yeah, it's hard to choose. It is. All right, a shout-out you need to give out to anybody, parents or friends or anything? Uh, shout-out to everyone that helped me, friends, family, <laughs> Max, right there. Nice. Good job, Max. <laughs> uh, uh, very good. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say other than congratulations. Thank you. Uh, well, good job. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we will uh, run a commercial. We've got about three minutes left uh, before we start the second half. When you walk into Fuzzy's Taco Shop, you'll know you're in the right place. With the best Baja-style menu in town, we'll have the whole family addicted. What up? Nachos, tacos, burritos, it doesn't matter. It's like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. We know you've had a long day, and you deserve a break. So, bring the crew to one of the Fuzzy's Taco Shop locations in Norman, Oklahoma City, or Stillwater. Welcome to your new addiction. You're going to find a whole lot to love right now during truck trading time with Joe Cooper Ford. You can trade your keys for the keys to a new truck. Then Joe will beat any other dealer's best deal by $500 guaranteed. Get more for your trade-in, lower your monthly payment, and make no payment for 90 days. Plus, we believe in service after the sale. When you bring your new Joe Cooper Ford in for service, you get a courtesy loaner car and a car wash. Who 
loves you, Oklahoma. Come see us at Joe Cooper Ford. Welcome back to somebody else Buck trying Murray to Memorial Field. Somebody else taking my job. Yes, I. I uh, should just go to the house. I should have gone to the concession stand. It's Mark Harlan now back with Rick Hansing. After yeah. Having <laughs> some special guests. I had uh, Tegan Lawson, who is a fifth grader here, that uh, uh, did a good job for us and uh, majoring in speech, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> future Charger Vision uh, uh, prospect. And then uh, I had uh, uh, Jalen uh, Johnson, who uh, was our $500 winner after she kicked the uh, field goal right through yeah. the uprights. She yeah. plays on the soccer team. Yeah, she's, she's, a, good so yeah, she's a good soccer player for sure. Uh, yeah, she said she'd been practicing uh, for about a week, and uh, man, man, she didn't have any problem clearing that. Sure did show, yeah. Man. Uh, that was Too awesome. bad she didn't get like $500 and like Chick-fil-A for a year. How about that? that? How that cool would, would that get? That would be worth like a million dollars. Man, that would be cool. In high school. Chick fil A for a year. Man, that'd be awesome. My son, uh, I, although he'd rather have the $500, that would be worth about $2,500. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's that's definitely definitely worth some dough. Oh, my goodness. Well, all right. Well, so we're down to about a minute to go. Tell me uh, um, what you're thinking. I mean, I, I, Millwood is obviously going to start trying about anything they can. What, yeah. uh, what do you think the Chargers are going to do to combat that? I just think more of the more of the same from the first half, and you know maybe we'll get some younger guys in there playing. Uh, maybe one more good quarter for the starters. Uh, I don't. I'd like to see. I'd like to see a little bit. Uh, like see a little bit of the run game, Charger ground game, yep. and that's not just because I want to go home earlier. But uh, uh, that but would that, the that clock. Would, that would <laughs> that, serve many purposes. Yeah, that does serve. That does serve to chew up some clock. But uh, yeah, I'd like to see. I'd like to see a little bit more from the run game. Uh, we know, we, you know, we know we've got the the uh, the air attack with the uh, with Jackson Joe, but uh, yeah, that's, that'd be that'd be one thing I'd like to see. Yeah, I mean, I hear you. I mean, we've got Peyton Ernest and uh, we've got uh, Robert Embrose running well Jayden, from the quarterback spot, and then Jaden Williams. Williams. Yeah, he, he has not had many opportunities. Yeah, man, I'd he like made to the see, most of the ones he's had. Yeah, I agree. I'd like to see some more from him for sure. Mm. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got a lot going on. I'd like to see uh, I'd like to see Will Dunn get the ball. I'd like to see in any capacity. Yeah, uh, I mean, he's now you know plays a little more H back, meaning tight end type. Yeah, so uh, I'd like to see, yeah I'd like to see Will get the ball. Maybe uh, see what they've got a little bit in store. Now I, I I do know that when you get this kind of lead, you you know you don't want to put a lot on tape. I mean you don't want to show right. a lot of plays. You right. know so you know those would be those would be some plays that they probably Mark don't want to get on tape. Don't want to run. Uh, just because I think he's, he's probably, he's probably uh, a really, really good weapon uh, well, later they, on for us. Yeah, so. yeah. And, but, I mean, they, uh, and I say showed a lot, I think they were very smart in their play calling, kind of some of the change directions we talked about to alleviate the pressure and the blitzes that they were going to put on the right, quarterback. Right, right. Uh, I think that was very smart. Yeah. And I'm with you that they're probably going to get a little more conservative. Yeah, I'd just, go basic. Yeah, to <laughs> yeah. milk the clock a little bit and then not show uh, their hand, exactly what you're talking about. I'm, I'm with you 100% on that. But – I know. Also, they don't like to call off the dogs. They don't like no, to go true. full back up the middle three times. No, and punt no, no. It. They're, yeah, they're not no. going to do that. No, I know we're not going to do that. But I just uh, and you know, like I said, we got a big lead, but uh, it'll probably grow. Uh, I think uh, I think this Charger team's got uh, a little bit more talent uh, right now than Millwood does. And I said, I, like I said, I think they've got some. They've had some key injuries. I see some of their starters right. over there. And, and the uh, gym shorts and their jerseys not even in their pads anymore. Yeah. So, uh, you know, like I said, uh, at this level of ball, you know, you got so many guys going both ways. That really does affect you when you get sure. get yeah. athlete that goes you down. Lose two of them. Yeah, you're you're losing. You're not using two out of twenty two. You're using two out of about you know fourteen. Yeah. Really? yeah, and if they're key guys too, like if they're a running back slash linebacker, right. like you see a lot, or some kind of a receiver slash cornerback, somebody you know, those are the kind of guys that you really. The playmakers are the kind of guys you really like to really hate to lose. Yeah, I mean you're exactly right. That I mean, the Chargers, although they play 3A and uh, Millwood's 2A, but I mean they're not what I would say real deep either. No, so, I mean, uh -uh, we're a no. few kindri few key injuries away from uh, yeah having a, a tougher go, and I hope we don't see uh, any injuries. I do think uh, I was uh, texting with uh, Coach Perry the other night and uh, talking about the team and talking about this game a little bit, and. Uh, it, we do, it does seem like we have a little bit more size. We might not be, we might not be any deeper, uh, but it does look like we've does look like we have some have some 
have some size that we don't always have. Right on the line, um, I agree. Yeah, and our and some of our you know, Robert Embro's got good size. Joe Washington has good size. You know, AJ Searles has good size. You know, I mean, uh, our center Philip is that Philip Lauren. Uh, it's been Edward Lauren. Edward Lauren, yeah, he's got great size. I mean, you know, we we just have some. We got some, and uh, Gavin Wilson. I mean, those guys are you know, those guys are uh, big for Class Three A guys. Well, I agree. Well, let me tell you real quick uh, some other stuff that's going on. Uh, Chargers Cross Country runners had their first meet of the season at Carl Albert. Uh, it was rained out, I'm sorry to say, but uh, oh. hope to get their season underway Saturday at Kingfisher. Meet head coach Craig Brown. Uh, or head coach Craig Brown returns a stable of experienced runners who look like uh, they're going to get back to the state meet and make some noise in October. So go out and support the cross-country team this weekend. I'm sure they're looking for a little cooler weather. Uh, yeah, it's more fun to run when it's not 95. <laughs> right. That heart rate that heart rate doesn't seem to get, get up quite as fast when it's cooler outside. I'm with you. And then uh, let me tell you about the volleyball, which I know is near and dear to your heart. Yes, it is. Uh, they're off to a 5-4 and four start, playing their usual brutal schedule uh, in an iron sharpens iron approach, playing all the tough teams. Uh, they're preparing for another uh, deep postseason run. Uh, the girls are battling crossings tonight and have Mount St. Mary's on Tuesday. So tune in next uh, next Thursday, September 12th, to catch senior night uh, against uh, Community Christian yeah. live on Charger Vision. So that will be next Thursday. That's going to uh, be three tough games in a row, especially that Mount St. Mary game. With those, they're really, really good at volleyball. And Community yeah. Christian out of Norman, they're good too. So you know, There's a lot going yeah. on around here. We didn't even get to the fast pitch softball. We'll try to squeeze that in on in a few minutes. Seems like they've been playing for two months already. <laughs> <laughs> and we're two weeks into the season. Yeah, we're two weeks into the school, school year. Yeah. All right, Chargers kicking off as uh, Millwood gets the ball first. You've stolen my roster, and i got to steal it back. Okay. Well, one of them. I gotta, somebody stole my roster. There we go. Uh, all right, so the ball gets uh, <laughs> down to the 30. Ryder always is on the case. Thank you, sir. Landon Lahodney made the tackle there. So we'll see what Mackey can do. And uh, like I said, I think the trick is to make him keep throwing and don't let him run it because uh, he can get loose. Yeah. Nick Keith is also in on that stop. He's played a good ball game. He has. Like you said, he's taking advantage of the opportunity to get out there. Yeah, absolutely. Nice iron Star tee. Starters out there on D right now. All right, so Mackey's got uh, three on one side, one on the other. And then uh, traditionally he's had Ray in the backfield. He does. He hands it to Ray, but he's got nowhere to go. Good defense. Jaden Williams back there. Hardy Bowers back there. Will Dunn turned that in, turned that play in from his defensive end spot right there. We got as many guys in the backfield as they do. <laughs> that's not a good sign. <laughs> it is for us. I yeah, like it. That's right. So they're gonna give him one on that, so second and nine. I'm surprised they're not calling some quarterback run stuff, but I don't uh, want to tell them I'm their business. He's probably it's a little, quick throw. He's probably a little soft on that ankle too, though. Yeah, that's probably it hurt on the first play. Oh, he, yeah. he got knocked down again. Connor Keith in there with the uh, pressure. Uh, they're saying the, that was caught for about a seven-yard gain. <clears throat> Excuse me. Third Robert Embro in there too on the pressure from his linebacker spot. Oh, that was A.J. Sorry, A.J. Searles. 21. Robert is in there. Yeah, he's yeah. at oh, the corner. Were, man, Nick Keith was in there, but uh, it's a nice handoff. Good run right there. That is a good run. That's 28 again. Uh, Ronnie Ray, and uh, he's down to about the 45-yard line in the Falcon territory. Man, Connor Keith came in a hurry. But, yeah, uh, he was I think he was shot out of a cannon there from his linebacker spot. Well, he's got good instincts for sure. Yeah, that was so good. does Hardy. They yep. got a nose for the football. All right, that was a good play call by the Falcons. So first and ten now, the ball in the 47. Fake uh, the this same time play. It's a quick throw uh, to 80. That's good uh, Asher over. Earl, but he's not much there. Davis over there with good coverage there, on the outside from his corner spot. Davis Duncan making the tackle with no, basically no game. Yeah, he's had a good game tonight. All these D-backs have been keeping everything in front of them and coming up and 
support in the run game right. too. And I say that's surprising only because I know Millwood's fast. I mean, I know yeah. they have a good athlete, so it's yeah. hard to do. But yeah, they're doing sure a good is. job. I agree. Yeah. This time it's another run play, and it looks like Ray, and they can't bring him down. He's still on his feet. He does get the first down. Man, he was fought hard. Will Dunn had him by the jersey for a while. And we got to bring him back to tearaways, and uh, yeah. he gets away. He almost tore it away for sure. Will had his uh, right paw on that, but uh, that was a powerful run yeah, right there. Yeah, that was there. a good run. It's two in a row for Ronnie Ray right there, wearing Marcus Major's old number there. Well, he's, uh, he's making him proud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make, earn that 28. I can't wait to see Marcus Major. Me uh, neither, man. I can't wait. Center. Yeah. I wonder if we'll see it this week. It might redshirt. It might redshirt him. I'm not sure. Well, but he can they still will, play four games. You're right? exactly yeah. right. Ooh. That's number 80 again with a catch, Asher Earl, and uh, he's close to a first down. Yeah, we got by with a we got by with maybe a bit of a late hit there. Man, he looks a little I think he's yeah, yeah he's kind of shaking up a little bit. Yeah, he's going to go back. Yeah, he's going to they're going to yeah, get him out I of the ball game. I think that's a good decision just to check him out. Uh, they did not get the first down. They're going to say second a long one. Deepest penetration of the game for the Millwood Falcons here. Let's go Chargers D. Don't give, don't let them have any momentum. Mackey looking Another to throw. Blitz. It's a quick throw. It's caught by 81, and oh, there's a flag on the play. I think that's going to be a hold right there, or Ooh. illegal illegal lineman downfield looks like maybe. Landon Lahodney with a nice tackle, uh, the quick throw. They got about five yards in the first, but uh, looks like it may be coming back. Tell you what, man, Mackey is paying the price after he turns loose to the football. That's the second second time that Connor Keith and Will Dunn have uh, double teamed him after the throw has been gone. As he's uh, he's feeling that, Mark. Well, they're just. I mean, I agree he's totally. Feeling he that. looks. Uh, he looks a little. Like I said, they don't have similar body types out there. Uh, he's giving up 100 pounds of Will Dunn. Yeah, and he's just as tall, but he's giving up 100 pounds. Uh, yeah, he he's looks, tough. Uh, though. He's tough, though. He's staying in the ball game. He's not coming out, holding his ribs here. Maybe they get him a flap jacket. Yeah. So second seven. Keith coming on another blitz. Yeah. Blitz on every play. Quick throw. Ooh. God, he's hit again. Uh, no, hit again. that's hit hard. Man, he's. Yeah, that's the that's a third. third uh, right in the ribs, that, that one. Yeah, that's the third shot he's taken. That might have been a little bit late there too. We got we, we got to watch that. That that one, uh, I'm with you on that one. And you can't go low either. But Kevin Aiken, the referees, are looking right at it. So yeah, he was hit. He's right seeing. there in front of. He's know, right there in front of Kevin. So maybe he only took one step. If you take two, they're going to call it on yeah. you. Yeah, I think it was yeah. only one step, but it yeah. just seemed like it was it was plenty of time after he got rid of it, but. No call. Except. Well done with pressure again. Oh, he's going to, yeah. A.J. Searles right there from the linebacker spot. Tried to spin out of it. Well done uh, in there, yeah, yeah. A.J. with the AJ with the sack. So, oh yeah, Mackey's getting tired of. Uh, yeah, he's, 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 taking, he's taking lots of hits here. He has. But, I mean, that's why I, I'm surprised that uh, Millwood's not moving the pocket around. I mean. He doesn't have time. They're blitzing him every time. But, I mean, that's why that's why I would say you got to roll away around. from it. Yeah, but he can't. It's uh, We've got contained. He can't get outside. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I agree they're coming from both ways. But yeah. We're killing the right yeah. side. Yeah, I've watched our linebacker. I've watched Keith. He's blitzed three times in a row. It brings up fourth down, but Mackey has taken a lot of abuse. Yeah, he's still down out there. Well, this uh, this will give us a quick chance to talk about Quail Creek Bank again. Uh, they've got students checking and savings accounts. You can set up their success. Uh, visit them online at quailcreek.bank or stop by and see them at 122nd North May to learn about their free accounts and free money matches for students. Huge thanks to Quail Creek Bank for being a longtime sponsor of Charger Vision. Well, we just got 500 bucks and might go over to a new account. Yeah. <laughs> Are they going to match that? That's the question <laughs> yeah, I have. There we go. Good uh, Jalen over there. Jalen, uh, some, some of that's got to go, be going to Fuzzy, so. Uh, yeah. If it were me. Well, yeah, for sure. All of it. Texadelphia. But. We could go to Texadelphia. We could go to Fuzzy's. 
Hey day. We go to Hey day. Uh, all, all We go everywhere. Options. I don't know if you could buy a Mercedes with that, but no. But you could go to the you could, could go payment. you could go to the uh, pop machine and candy machine maybe if it's not complimentary. If you're I buying a Mercedes, is. it needs it to is. be complimentary. Yeah. <laughs> I know the, I know you get yeah. fr I know you get free Coke at Joe Cooper. I know that. Nice. Free soft drinks. Mm, so everywhere. Yeah. So Rick Hansing just quickly uh, went through all our sponsors and we uh, <laughs> we've knocked them out for the second half. Yeah, Imp impro improvisation there on the sponsor reads. We may uh, we may give them a little more love <laughs> later on, but that was the uh, quick shout out to all of them. Everybody, we appreciate it. So fourth down, and Millwood looks like they're punting, and uh, Mackey uh, taking off and man trying to catch his breath and see if he's uh, God. They are coming. The Chargers were coming. Boy, howdy! Yeah, it's a good snap that time though. Nice kick, caught about the 20-yard line. Fair catch there by Gavin Freeman on the fair catch. Yeah, that's a good job of getting that punt away. Yeah, we had five guys in there. 7:28, Chargers offense coming out on the field. A little aha for you, Rick. Do what? They're playing aha for oh, you. Oh, that's right. That sounds good too. You know what? Sounds right. really good. There's we, a bigger, little bit bigger band this year. More yeah, sound. We got a, it's a full band over there. Yeah. They're just missing a singer. Get out there. Uh, I'll be doing that when I'm not calling Charger Vision. All right. Yeah. Well, don't yeah. retire just yet, although I'm bringing in a few subs periodically. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, Charger Vision would like to thank Venue Catering for their continued support. They take amazing care of our students every day at lunch and also serve the state's best gourmet concessions. So go visit them. Venue Catering. Well, I think my lovely wife might be visiting there right now, maybe bringing us something to eat. Nice. Be nice. She could uh, maybe carry on and go to Fuzzies. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Get something for after the game. Yeah. <laughs> right. She could really set us up. Get a little snack for after the game for sure. I don't want to be a, uh, an ingrate. All right, Chargers offense coming out. We'll see uh, how conservative uh, they're going to be or not. It looks like, uh, well, we got Robert and Jackson both out there. I'm with you. I mean, I think they uh, no, they think no lead is safe, and so they're not necessarily yeah. taking their foot off the gas, although I think they will run it some more just to yeah. see if that clock can go. Yep. Let's we'll see here. Not deep in our own territory, but we are at the 20. Phillip's going to get the carry. He does. He cuts it up. He's got a blocker in front of him. Can't quite get outside, but gets about uh, four to five on the play. Yeah, that was a good play there. I thought he was going to – he was running to daylight right there. I thought he was going to get a few more yards in that. But uh, Me too. good pursuit by Angelo Bryson right there. I agree. He had a, a blocker or two in front of him. I thought he was going to squeeze out of there and go a little farther. Looks like he's cramping. Yeah, I think you're right on there. I hope that's what it is. It looks like, yeah, yeah it oh is. Yeah. Pushing the toe. Pushing the toe in with the calf cramp right there. He may need to go see uh, Bone and Joint Hospital at St. Anthony's because uh, <laughs> he's got some uh, cramping. He might go. He might need to go see the Gatorade. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bone and Joint Hospital, they can help you with your sports injuries. They have Gatorade there's everyday there. pains. Uh, give them a call, 272-9671, or visit them online. That's uh, SSM Health Bone and Joint Hospital at St. Anthony's. They probably have vending machines out there, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you're, uh, hungry? you're eating. Well, hungry? hungry, yes. But you sound yeah. like you're eating better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I won't tell you about the hot dog I had earlier. Oh, yeah. You already did. I'm thinking about it right Sorry. now. Sorry. Thinking about it right now. It was delicious. <laughs> we could use a couple of those. All right. We got Philip. Yeah. He's coming off. Let's see if he goes right to the, yep, went right to the liquid. All right, so uh, I'll quickly right. tell you about the softball. We got fast pitched off ball. Uh, uh, new head coach Michelle Thompson, despite losing uh, Kyan Woods for the year, she broke her arm. Uh, the girls are two and four on the season. Annie Perkins is lighting it up at the dish. She's hitting 571, while senior Trudy Taylor smacked a home run versus Jones to become the HH all time leader with eight career blasts. Uh, Lauren Day has fanned 29 hitters in 29 innings of work in the circle. Man, that's strong. Uh, up next for the Chargers is a road contest against uh, District Crow Meeker. So support the fast-pitch softball team. Michelle Thompson's going to go in the right direction. 
All right, Job with a quick pass over to Davis Duncan, looking for uh, an opening, but there's not a whole lot there. He tackled out of bounds. Finally blow the whistle after he's getting mauled. That's uh, a gang tackle right there. Yeah, getting uh, uh, about to the 28-yard line. We'll see where they put the momentum. But I think they were not in a hurry with that whistle. No. I think Jackson probably came in for, or not Jackson, but uh, Davis probably Davis came Duncan. in for Phillip. Right. <laughs> So third and three for the Chargers. Davis Duncan, a junior with that catch. He's made some good defensive plays tonight. Got a strong junior class. Quick handoff oh, right run. the middle. Get outside. Nice run, Peyton Ernest. He's got the first down and more. The he was down. Was down. Yeah. He needs a tear away jersey too. Bring back the old, uh-oh, another cramp. Yeah, this time it's a Falcon that's down. Uh, 28, that's Ronnie Ray. Who's, he's been a workhorse on offense. It's going to be a long half, Mark. Yeah, at this this is uh, like the first game last year. It's just uh, maybe, maybe it was too hot to play uh, this time of year. I'm trying to hydrate just so I don't get a cramp up here talking to the booth. <laughs> Might get a jaw cramp. Right. All right, so uh, update. Packers still seven. Bears three is what I'm seeing. Uh, and then uh, the second uh, semifinals for the uh, U.S. Open women's tied six all. I guess they're going to a tie break. Uh, and it's time to thank Fuzzy's Taco Shop. There's no better game day restaurant, fresh, fast, and fun. Stop in at Chisholm Creek after the game or visit uh, one of their other locations in Edmond, Bricktown, Norman, Stillwater, and now open in more. Fuzzy's, welcome to your new addiction. Take your pick on the locations. Well, they're everywhere. That way. I've been to that one in Stillwater. It's good. Wherever Rick Hansing is, there's one available. <laughs> That's right. All right. <laughs> See? He cramped on all the way across the field. Yeah. Just like we did last year over there. Staff's got to run all, all the, the way, way back over. over. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody get him some liquids. We need some IVs out here on the sidelines. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet we have plenty of doctors in the crowd. We can get, get the Help IVs out. out. Yeah. Should be standard procedure. Get this that time delivery of year. system in there a lot faster. First and ten. First and ten now. Chargers working uh, from the 35-yard line. Robert Embro looks like he's in there, quarterback. Quick handoff, very patient. Is that Landon Lahadi? Who is that? 28. Colby Lewis. Uh, there we go, Colby. Backup running back. Bait another baseball player. Yeah. He did not have a lot of room to run. Ends up losing about a yard or two. But this is what we're talking about getting some other guys some uh, some action. Yeah, here comes Gavin Freeman. Well done coming out. So your Chargers lead 27 nothing. They are second and 12. Robert Embro still in there. It's another handoff to see if Colby can get around the side. I heard a whistle. Man, I he's heard still someone on blew, his feet. Someone blew a whistle. Three about third and eight. But okay. yeah, I don't know what's going on. That ref is not. <laughs> there seems to be confusion. Looking at the head judge over there on the other side, and he's. I heard a whistle from over there. They're all looking at each other. But nothing Our coaches are different. asking what was going on because everybody kind of froze. Well, it looks like it's third and eight. Okay, we got somebody needs to come out of the game. Here we go. <laughs> It's easy to tell from yeah. up here, isn't it? Rick Hansing on the case. <laughs> he needs to come back out. Man, this is uh, down to four. It looks like uh -oh. a timeout, Chargers. Uh -oh. another timeout. 
Same deal. And it's a play call or the personnel. We can't quite figure out what uh, what's what. Coach Brett's not happy about this. The visor's coming off. Well, I don't want to tell him to look at the scoreboard because no, no lead is safe. But correct. Yeah, you things, want to get all this cleaned up. Yeah, this is uh, yeah. There's stuff we can work on even in a what I hope is a win. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, this because uh, it might not cost you tonight, but it could cost you somewhere down the line. Right. Well, and not know. that this game's not important. It is, but. Well, we got you a 27-point yeah. cushion. Not that uh, any any lead is safe, but uh, yeah, I, I like to learn from the wins more than learning from the losses. <laughs> right, right, or have it, or have it caused by that. Uh, all right, so Charger Vision also like to thank longtime sponsor Mercedes-Benz of Oklahoma City. Their support visit them uh, in Edmond or online at MercedesBenzOKC.com. Mercedes-Benz of Oklahoma City, the best or nothing. That's right. What a great uh, new dealership that is, too. State of the art. Really cool looking. So, third and eight. Hopefully, we got the right personnel package in. Phillips back in. Robert Embro in. Got Jackson Joe back at quarterback. He's looking to throw. There's pressure. Nice move. Oh, he's in big trouble. Right, he's going to get outside here. Oh, got drugged down behind. Yeah, that's a nice tackle. Wow, that 32. sure is. Wow. Taylor Taffy right there. I think Jackson thought he had the sidelines there. Tell you what, man, he, he, that kid's elusive. He avoids yeah. the rush on the other side and then cuts yeah. back and outran everybody except for the uh, pursuit here. But he's elusive. Yeah, you've called uh, Taylor Taffy's name a lot. He's uh, he's made some good plays on defense. Mostly from the backside, so he he's uh, running to the football for sure. Looks like Jerry Jensen back. A nice punt. He's got some running room here. He's at the 20. Good block. Oh, there, yeah. throw the flag as a. Uh, yeah, nice tackle from behind. I didn't see who it was, though. And actually, they're going to call a block in the back right there. But right. actually, it looked like it was it looked like it was on the shoulder, but called it in the back. I don't like what you're seeing. Take those glasses off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just trying to keep it fair, you know? Yeah, I know. Well, that will back them up after a pretty good return by Jansen. So... Two minutes and 51 seconds. Uh, your Heritage Hall Chargers leading 27 to zero. Uh, second half, did not a lot of action so far. Not so far, but Millwood's got the ball. Going to be penalized here. It's going to go back to the, uh, what's that going to be, 20 yard line? Um, it looks like, yes, that's exactly where they're spotting it. Like they've got some confusion going on too. Yep. Oh, they still have Mackey in. No, no different quarterback now. I think it's number. F is it number five? Man. Oh. Uh, he decides to keep it, and that is not a good decision. Well, he rode the running back for a long, long yeah. time, and then he's finally kept it. But uh, couldn't quite make a decision. Number 52, Chris Stripling. He's a senior offensive defensive lineman. He's getting up kind of gingerly. Well, I didn't see what number it's who's playing quarterback. It looks like number five. And I've got Angela Bryson. Yeah, uh, that's who it looks like from here. Yeah, there we, yeah, there we go, five. Well, he could not uh, decide if he was keeping it or letting it go. And, uh, <laughs> I think he actually wanted to cut that back to the uh, reverse his field with it. It's a quick throw now. Oh, intended receiver number 80. Uh, that's Asher Earl who's caught some passes from Mackey. But uh, he's a player that cramped a while ago. Yep. Yeah, Mackey, back I guess, is going to be done for the night just uh, based on he was getting abused. Oh, uh, man, we were teeing off on him. He's a tough kid. But he man, is he tough. Was, uh, he took a lot of hits. Yeah, he took some abuse back there. Uh, 
All right, so Angelo Bryson taking over. It's third and 12 after uh, one running play and one error pass. Let's see if the Chargers get a turnover here. He's going to throw it, and they're all over him. Well done back there again. And they bring him down. Nice job. Is that Connor Keith? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice sack. I mean, he is. Yeah, he's. Has he's, there anybody he's a, gotten in his way all night? He's a heat seeking missile from yeah. that uh, linebacker spot. He's got some good timing, too. you got to have good timing on those blitzes. Yeah. But, I mean, he's back there so much. Oh, he's, uh, yeah. I'm, when are they going to put somebody in his way? Well, if you don't respect the run game from the linebacker spot, you can do uh, you can do whatever you want. I mean, you're, you know, they're not going to run it. You should tee off all night long. Don't have to have a lot of discipline. <laughs> yeah. Michael Taffy, it looks like he's going to be punting. And then uh, well, timeout. They're going to discuss going for it on fourth and 19. From <laughs> <laughs> from your own 11. I think we'll think. Well, I think we'll decide against that. Yeah, that seems like a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, extra special thanks uh, to one of our most exciting sponsors, Heyday Entertainment. It's jam packed with family fun. The bi level laser tag arena with bridges and ramps, mini golf, uh, ropes course, arcade, and pizza. Visit them in Lower Bricktown or the original spot in Norman. Uh, watch the game the Heyday way. Definitely thank you to them. <laughs> Oh, this is right up your alley. A little back in black here. ACDC. ACDC, yeah. I don't want to watch Hansen uh, start dancing to this. Air guitar. <laughs> you and Angus Young have a lot of comments there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah, I know what it is. We're both old. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Fourth and 19. Uh... Millwood appears to be punting. So Taffy back to punt. Look Michael at Philip. Look at Philip back there. He's looking his chops. He's at the 40. Oh no! Another straight up punt. Get out of the way. Uh, it takes a fairly good bounce, but Charger going to start with great field position at the 24 time. yard line. <laughs> Last time it took a 15 yard. Millwood bounce, remember? Yeah, that was not as fortunate. The backspin, it looked more like you're pitching wedge. Yeah, a little backspin, yeah. Yeah, a little, uh, little 56 degree wedge there. Maybe maybe even more, maybe 58. Well, Chargers, uh, a great field position. I'm sure the coach is gonna wanna punch this in and then uh, start bringing in uh, some other people as we're getting close to the, the end of the third quarter, start of the fourth quarter. Jackson Joe been there right now. Colby Lewis in the backfield with him. Play clock hadn't started as we're trying to get to. I've got looks like they're minutes. running in some personnel with Millwood, but we're not waiting on him. Colby Lewis gets the run, goes to the left. He's got an opening. He's getting around the corner. Boy, Can that's he get good in? speed right there. Nice. Colby Lewis, a nice 23-yard run to touchdown. No penalties. That is, was good speed around the corner. Sure was. Boy, he got the sidelines and no one even saw him. He scooted up the sidelines. Great speed. Switched hands with the ball. Did you see yeah, that? There he Go to the outside wise, hand yep. so you don't fumble if you get hit. Very impressive. Is that the only the second time he's touched the ball, or is that the first time? I know he's been uh, in there before. Yeah, he had one run for negative yards a second ago, but uh, he didn't have a whole lot of uh, room the yeah. first time. That was much better blocking, and he turned it on. Did he, though? Man, he showed some great speed. Uh-oh. How many more guys? Uh... <laughs> All right, so extra point pending. Luke Butler, let's jump off sides. He still gets it down. Yeah. Is it good? Good, it is. yeah. Another cramp. Oh, man. Is that Melvin? Two's cramping. Oh, Melvin is hobbling off. Uh, yeah, they they helped him off the field. They helped uh, two off the field with his cramp. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's Jimmy Harris for the Falcons, and then Melvin looked like he was cramping up also for yeah. us. He was kind of hobbling off the field. Yeah. The Heritage Hall Chargers, 34-0. They are uh, feeling much better now. 27 just didn't seem like it was safe enough. <laughs> this sure, it feels pretty good now. Mm -hmm. I like what I'm seeing now. 
So now we are going to have to start examining the rosters as uh, we're going to get some, uh, I think, some younger guys in there. I think this score is going to surprise some people. Uh, it surprises me. I'm one of the people that surprises me. I, mean, I always know we're good and we're disciplined. Um, and that, like you said, our defense is going to be pretty good. I just wasn't sure about yeah. – I wasn't sure how our lines were going to play. We do have right. good size. We yeah. just don't have as much experience. Right. And, uh, man, we look very good. Yeah, and I'm surprised. I'm surprised more with the zero. Yeah, me too, just because I, I, I figure they have one or two breakaways, and whether it's the quarterback at breaking yeah, the team or who knows yeah. what. Yeah, the Falcons don't get shut out very often. The game's not over. but It is not over. Luke Butler, nice kick, but stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. It does stay in bounds. Wow. They, they finally have to pick it up. <laughs> uh, they're deep in their territory, but he's cutting it back upfield. Somebody's got to bring him down, and they do right about the 20-yard line. That's a nice run from uh, Jordan Jensen. But uh, that's a great kick from Luke Butler. Thing just dropped dead Boy, about a foot did. from out of bounds. And, and it stayed right go. there. That was a nice special teams play by number 16, Jake Denny. Haven't called Jake's name tonight till then. Good play by Jake. It looks like Ronnie Ray is going to be back in the backfield. He was uh, cramping up a little bit. He's back. And then it looks like uh, we've got the same Angelo Bryson. In there, and they hand it off on kind of a jet sweep, but the Chargers are there. The defense is there. Three guys right there. Joe Washington, Hardy Bowers. Connor Keith. It's uh, well done out there. Host the Chargers, as they say. Yeah. The on jet the stop. sweep did not uh, surprise anyone. It was Bailey Brown uh, with the carry, but he that only ends up with two. He, he ran a lot for two yeah, yards. That, <laughs> that jet sweep took a while to develop there. Normally you just pitch that and go. You know, it looks like they're going to let the third quarter run out here. The Falcons are. I don't know. If, uh, it didn't look like they're going to try to get a playoff. Now they're going to let it run down. So right now we've got uh, Heritage Hall 34, uh, the Millwood Falcons 0. Millwood has the ball second and eight after the 23, but uh, we will see what happens in the fourth quarter. We'll go to commercial and come right back. to impact the future. Every day this field is a place to play for thousands of our students. And this place, this field, changes everything. This field is more because the future plays here. Welcome back to Pop Murray Memorial Field. Mark Carlin with Rick Hansing. Start of the fourth quarter, uh, Heritage Hall definitely in the driver's seat, leading 34 to zero. The defense has played very strong. Uh, the offense, uh, a few penalties here and there, but uh, 34 points, nothing, uh, not too bad. I like what I'm seeing in that huddle right now. Lots of hydration going on. Yeah. Passing around the Gatorade bottles. You can't get enough tonight. Can't get enough tonight, for sure. Looks so, like a lot of the a lot of the uh, second team D out there right now. Yeah, we'll try to keep you in the loop on the uh, guys we see in there. That uh, we got about half and half. It looks like Mark. Yeah, Phillips still out there. A fuzzy Saco featured player. And uh, Gavin, Gavin Freeman's out there, there now. Joe Washington's out there. Hardy's still out there. Jake Brandon Williams Lodney. is out there. 
Well Omari done. Smith at nose guard. Well done out there. Is that Searles? AJ Searles. Oh, high snap. Did a bring good it job. down. Yikes. Wow. It's a knuckleball, yeah. uh, but it's caught. Runs out of bound right about the 24 yard line. I don't think he had time to get the laces there. Yeah, Ronnie Ray with a nice catch. It sure was. Wow. And I understand this is the, probably their second or third string quarterback, but uh, that was uh, the snap. Got to cut everything off, and he just trying to launch that thing over there as fast as he could. Look like a Billy Kilmer. <laughs> no one's going to know who that is because they're not old like I am. Got an old quarterback for the Redskins that couldn't throw a spiral. Oh, it's trouble. Of course, I'm going to pick on the Red. I'm pick on the Redskins because I'm a Cowboys fan. So <laughs> do that all night. Third and seven. Yeah, the Cowboys just spent a lot of money. I'm, I'm, I like it. Fifty million guaranteed. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think in the next year or two that could pay dividends, and then uh, year four, five, six. I, I don't know. We'll see. That's back loaded, so they did it right. But still, there's fifty million guaranteed. So somebody's smart enough to figure all that out. Not me. I hope he stays healthy. I'm smart enough to figure out fifty million guaranteed is pretty good. <laughs> um, For both yeah. sides, actually, the kind of player he is. He's got to stay healthy. Yes, you're right. Which he does a pretty good job of that. We'll see how hard he's really been working out in uh, Cabo. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah. They were talking about that this morning, so, yeah. Probably not wearing your pads down there for one. Uh, would you know? <laughs> you know. Uh, all right, so uh, we'd also like to thank Joe Cooper Ford for their support. Visit their Edmund, Yukon, Shawnee, or Tulsa showroom. And check them out online at JoeCooperFord.com to find your new ride. Joe Cooper Ford, home of the $10,000 deal. Uh, go check that out. What else do we need to talk about? Texas. Who loves you, Oklahoma? That's the standard Rick Hansen that's my, answer. <laughs> that's my, uh, uh, it's that's my tag Joe line. Cooper Ford. Yeah. Uh, also, uh -huh. Texas Delphi Social Grill. Uh, they've been a sponsor since 2013. Go visit them. To, uh, go get a cheesesteak and go visit them in Lower Bricktown. And uh, make it a Texas Delphi a day. Let's do it. All right, third and seven for Millwood. we got... All kinds of guys in motion. Chargers looking for a turnover. The quarterback man. running it, and they didn't get very far. That's good tackle. Uh, Hardy Bowers here. That is a good tackle. I mean, that's tough. When you've got your second or third string guy in there who's normally a wide receiver, uh, I don't think that's a horrible. I, I'd be keying on that, I guess. Yeah, so. and now you're going to have to punt, and the uh, last punt went straight up in the air with some backspin, so need to get, uh, a, better, need to get a better punt here. Yeah, Michael Taffy. Uh, Oh, they're bringing in someone else, actually. It's funny. Funny you bring that up because yeah. all of a sudden we've got uh, number 80, Asher Earl, to see what how strong his leg is. He's got some great-looking cleats on, I'll tell you that. We'll see how uh, good it will see, they they see if they work. <laughs> yeah. He's got some uh, jack-hancing uh, footwear. Yeah, no kidding. Those are sharp. Oh, we got Philip right. Smith and Gavin Freeman uh, deep, but they're not that deep no. based on what they've seen so far. That's right. They're, see, need to have a good snap here. Well, much better the, punt. Who wants it? Gavin's call. Oh, I was like, oh. they both call it? Well, that's uh, yeah, illegal, can't isn't run it? That. Yeah. yeah. That's like really, if, one yeah. Of them, if one of them calls it, then <laughs> yeah. the other one can't run. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. Just I think they were both. I would think they were both mine, shocked mine, that, the punt, mine. that the punt got back there to him. Well, that's too bad. Just a little miscommunication with the two deep guys. I'm watching the. I'm watching Coach Bogert and Coach Perry in the press box, and they're both laughing about that. So. <laughs> uh, all right. A huge thank you to Fields and Futures for supporting Charger Vision. Check them out at fieldsandfutures.org. Uh, to find out how they're empowering coaches and kids and, uh, to be something bigger than themselves, Fields and Futures, one field, one coach, one student at a time. Man, they do great things in Oklahoma City. Man, they sure do. Man. Tim McLaughlin, Tommy Noble, building those fields, softball, soccer, football, yeah. track, everything. Places great, that need great, it. Yeah. great work. Yeah, yeah, good point. At places that desperately need it. First and ten, the Chargers. It's a quick handoff. Ooh, good oh, good play right hit there. Hard. Man, that was a good run, too. Hunter Boyer with a run. Freshman, right? I think that's right. Man. 
can't hear myself think. We got Van Halen rocking out. I mean, we are. We're rocking. Second nine after a hard run, but not much of a game. Okay, yeah, we, we got, got entire, entire, maybe third team in there now. Yeah. Second and third team. We had Ori Walker split out. We've got uh, Michael McClintock, looks like he's playing quarterback. Uh, quarterback. Going to try to get the sidelines here. Looking nice. for a Cuts block. Field. Good cutback. Nice. That's a nice run to about yeah. the 47-yard line. He's going to be very close to the first down. We'll see where they spot it. He's a good athlete. He, he hasn't played football since middle school, huh? Uh, I think he played one year of the season. He's a senior. I think he played maybe his freshman year. Oh. 59155. Just never <laughs> never grew. Like some of the other guys. Right. Third down and one. They did not get in the first down. We'll see who we have in the backfield. Uh is it Jake Williams. Oh man, people are moving all over the place. No, that's 45. That's Hunter, Hunter Boyer. Boyer. Looked like he was uh, getting a little excited. And Mason Georgia, he can Mason Georgia can run the ball too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think that's the right call, but that's going to change Mason change our play. Mason Georgia back there, Mark. He'd start for a lot of teams. Yeah, just a he's, sophomore. He's third team here as a sophomore. He he, a bunch of teams he could play for. All right, Matthew McClintock now, third and six. Look like they're offside. It's a quick throw. Nice catch. He's hit hard and cannot get uh, enough for the first down. That was 31. Ori Walker. Walker. Another freshman. So it's going to bring up fourth down. Let's, let's see who's going to punt. Oh, Jackson's coming on to punt. I was wondering if we had somebody to punt when he wasn't in the game. Or is he? <laughs> oh, right, yeah. I don't think we'll fake it here. I wouldn't think so based on the score and the time. Get down, ball. Oh, man, I was hoping to take a quick hop. Get the sidelines. Oh, hit hard. Phillip turned him back in. Yeah. Number 25, that looks like it was Terrace Pollard uh, with the run back. Had an opening for a second and then did not with a lot of chargers. Connor, well, Connor Keith there, clean him up on the punt return. So with all the festivities going on this weekend to the 50th uh, anniversary, uh, the best I, uh, advice I have for you uh, chargers alum and fans out there, uh, go to heritagehall.com slash hh50 uh, and you can learn all about it. You can RCP to the different events. Uh, thank you to Coach uh, tomorrow night, Friday night. And then they've got the, the picnic from 9 a.m. to noon. And then they've got the gala for uh, all you Chargers uh, that are over 21 uh, to go support that out at the Bricktown Event Center. Uh, it's going to be a big great time. Big weekend, yeah. yeah. Big reunion, big anniversary, milestone weekend. 50 years. 50 years. 50 years of the Chargers. Still going strong and getting stronger. Getting stronger, yeah. Millwood taking over at the 29. Eight minutes and one second left in this game. Maybe we could get a running clock from here on out. It would be okay with me. All right, so uh, you going to give your uh, synopsis of the game now, or do you want to wait till post game? Well, Chargers just you know out outmanned their opponent tonight for sure in all phases of the game, and uh, special teams, kicking game, offense, defense. Yep, and I think they started. Just overmatched. They started so well. Uh, nice tackle. Seventy-eight. Already right finishing there. it off, but yeah, seventy-eight. Uh, Camden Britt, sophomore. Defensive lineman. Started the whole thing and had him. That's who we thought was going to play quarterback all along. That's playing quarterback now. Harold Bagby, left-handed senior. Listed at quarterback linebacker, right, right. but uh, he's in there now. Yeah, first time in the backfield. Yeah. 
brings up set, uh, second and 15 after the uh, good play by Britt and Bowers. He's looking to throw, and he is left-handed, like I said, but he's running out of room. He brought down. Who nice is that? play right there. 45. It's on the border. Another freshman. Yeah, that's not his first play tonight either. Yeah, that's probably his yep. sec second, second tackle at least. He was getting some uh, running back action as well. Good to see the freshmen and sophomores out there getting some playing time. Now it's third and 20 as the Chargers defense there. They're substituting a lot of guys in, but yet it's still the same result. Yeah, Mason Georgia playing middle Whoa, linebacker. Oh, that my is gosh. an interesting hike, uh, and that is in trouble. That is so nice. unfortunate right there. It is good decision by uh, uh, Bagby just to fall on it, but that's, uh, that is one of the worst snaps I think I've seen. <laughs> I look like a... One of those sprinkler heads that are broken <laughs> that go straight up in the air. That's what I thought it looked like. <laughs> that, <laughs> Interesting I, snap. Yeah, I think that uh, he didn't quite Might have hit have somebody. Might have hit something. I don't know. I've seen better. Caught a flyer on the that. snap. Okay, Phillips says, Let's see look, if we get, Gavin, yeah, don't yeah, wave don't, until yeah, don't I tell wave, you. Don't wave. Matter of fact, just get out of the way. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a senior, and I'm getting it. I'm taking this I'm thing taking to it the to the house. house. Uh-oh. He's running. Oh, Jagger's got him. This is the trouble. Well, how does he think he's going to get all the way to the first down marker? Oh, he stepped out of bounds. They already whistled it dead over there, I thought. Uh, he had – it was fourth and 36. Wow. I guess he thought From he wasn't – end zone. I guess mm -hmm. he thought he wasn't going to get it off because he kind of fumbled it a tad. Uh, he's learned the rugby punt uh, when he's running. Yeah, to the, yeah, that's right. Needs to watch Jackson Job and see how he does it. That was not the best sequence for the Falcons. They went back 20 yards. A uh, bad snap, and then uh, now Chargers have it deep in the okay. Falcons Couldn't territory. Get the kickoff. Rick, we're gonna have to talk about the player of the game, and we have had a Boy, there's full team effort tonight. We really have. I mean, there's just it's been a lot of a lot of great performances, but really been a good team win. You know, Swain talk out there, looking, looking fast. Uh, Elusive. Yep, we've got uh, Peyton Ernest with a touchdown, Embro with a touchdown, uh, Nick Keith with an interception. We've got uh, uh, Jagger Abels with a uh, touchdown, Jaden Williams a 26 yard run, uh, Colby Lewis with a 23 yard run. Um, probably uh, had a great game. Yeah, I'd probably default to the quarterback. Uh, just he's because, got two touchdowns, but just just because you know somebody's got to keep it all together in game one against a quality opponent. Um, that that'd probably be my well, probably be know. my vote. Uh, Maybe we give it to the defense. That give it to the just give it to the just yeah. give it to the defense for the shutout. Um, That's what I do. Just make the player just deep make the defense players of the game. Yeah, I mean I would say interview one of the seniors. Who do we have? Hardy Bowers or. Who do we have out there on the defensive making calling their name left and right? Phillip on defense. Yeah, Melvin was I mean we had He's not a senior. We had uh, right. We had Connor Keith in the backfield a lot. Yeah, those guys single handedly took their Mackey, the quarterback, out of the game. I mean that's probably my vote, is the defensive line and bring they bring Connor Keith in to interview. Or just don't have an interview and everybody gets to go home. Uh, <laughs> Luke Steelman says we've got to interview somebody. He's putting pressure on me. <laughs> we want to give it to the defense. For the shutout. The shutout. But uh, like maybe uh, Hardy Bowers or Connor Keith is an interview. They were one of them. I don't know. What Connor Keith. What? No, no. Either one. All right, so we're going the defense as uh, as a player of the game, and I don't know if anybody likes that, but they uh, they shut down a, a very good team. Man, McClintock just got hit hard uh, as he handed that ball off. Oh, 
So 34-0, 320 to go. Uh, that was a running play, man, and uh, McClintock got hit hard uh, as if he might be keeping it. And so we turn it over on downs. Three twenty to go. This is uh, this fourth quarter has not been as exciting as I want it to be, but uh, I'm happy that the Falcons <laughs> don't have anything uh, going on. To do on. with it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, bit, little or no, nothing going on that side of the ball tonight. But I mean, a very good performance. Like I said, there's things to clean up for sure, but uh, the defense couldn't have played much better. Yeah, they had very few penalties, and like I said, pitching a shutout. And uh, you know, a, a swarming type defense with lots of guys around the ball. Lots of guys in the backfield, uh, and so pressure everywhere. Yeah, all over the field. They run jet sweep or screen, and we're all over it. Yeah, good pursuit, lots of effort, which is what you want to see from your defense. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's gonna be troublesome for the rest of the uh, rest yeah, of the I, year. I would not. I don't care what offense you are. I would not look forward to playing this Charger D at all. So we've got Clinton coming in uh, next week. Man, bring him down. Bagby just couldn't. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, McClintock cleaned up their quarterback. Nice, Gavin Freeman and uh, Michael McClintock getting in there. He looks like he might he might earn himself some playing time a little earlier in the game next, next week. McClintock. Yeah. So, Might get uh, in there with the twos. Yeah, so we've got Clinton coming in uh, next week and then uh, at Davis uh, the week after that. Two perennial powerhouses. Yep, in their own. That, that we one play. One in 4A, one in 2A. That's right, that we play every year. We like the iron sharpens iron in every sport. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Come to Heritage Hall if you want to play quality opponents for sure. Yeah. That's a good uh, pursuit by 58. Who's that? I don't have a 58. We don't have a 58. You're right. Well, they came in there and just a bear Cleaned hug at yeah. uh, running back. Third and four now for the Falcons. A low snap. Uh, oh, but handled well. They get the first down. There's a, a nice run by uh, Bagby. After uh, a, I mean, they, they've been they've been having issues with the snapping. Oh yeah. I mean, maybe some one of the guys low, get, some yeah. high, some yeah. Maybe the one of the guys that got injured is uh, yeah. the center. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, that's just not been. They well, had uh, one fumble recovery on a high snap, and then uh, our defense will make you a little bit nervous. Playing center for sure. So first and ten, we got a minute 32 left. Uh, another interesting snap, and Chargers trying to get it, but unable to come up with it. Is uh, man, lots of ball security yeah. issues for the Falcons tonight. Well, they know what they need to work on. Yep, <laughs> they do. They're gonna be running tomorrow, though. So I'm going to say the uh, uh, Joe Cooper fourth drive of the game was the first drive. Mm. Uh, it was the man. It was just good play calling. The kid uh -huh. to mix it up, mess up the timing of the Falcons defense. Yeah, lots of misdirection. Straight down the field. Lots of misdirection. Uh oh. Man, see that low snap just messes up everything. Yeah. And I feel bad for you're, the quarterback. Yeah, <laughs> your, your timing's thrown way off. And then you're rushing to grip it too. You can't right. get a hold of it the right way. Can't do that tap, you know. Can't get it yeah. up there and tap. No, no time for the Find tap. Find the rhythm. Yeah. No time for the. No time for the tap. Then uh, let's see. Millwood plays Douglas next week. Oh, that's not right. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's correct. Sorry, we've got our 2018 schedule, but that's their 2019 schedule. They played Douglas. I think that game's going to be featured too. That's one of the longest-standing uh, rivalries anywhere. Nice tackle. 
It's K.J. Evans who's a freshman that makes a nice tackle. So fourth Yeah, down. these guys are fired up to get in here and get some playing time for the underclassmen. My gosh, he lost his, his glasses. But he, uh -huh. I think he hit the guy so hard his glasses flew off. Yeah, not going to run another play, I don't think. Well, Chargers Heritage yeah. Hall, 34, the Millwood Falcons, zero. As time runs out, we will go to commercial and uh, come back with a little recap and uh, maybe get an interview uh, Connor Keith or Hardy Bowers or someone from the defensive side as uh, the defense pitches the shutout tonight. Attention, driving a brand new Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Oklahoma City. Like the totally new, completely redesigned 2020 GLE 350 SUV. Available with seven passenger seating, a new infotainment system, and supreme luxury. Get yours now during the Mercedes-Benz Summer Event. View all of our best offers online at Mercedes-Benz of OKC.com. Welcome back to Pop Murray Memorial Field. I'm Mark Carlin here with Rick Hansing, and your Heritage Hall Chargers dominate the Millwood Falcons tonight, 34-0. Yeah, dominate in all phases. I mean, I think it started with a good play calling and to, to kind of mix it up, and that just kept uh, Millwood on their heels. Uh, they had a few injuries tonight, I'm yeah. sorry to say. That slowed them down a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, they did have some key injuries, you're right. We had uh, won the turnover battle, won the score. On the yards. I mean, our defense is dominant. It was just a. Uh, yeah, just a. Like I said, this score is going to, I think, surprise a lot of people, especially after the game last year. That game last year was a classic, you know? It was. Uh, with, uh, just, very good. Yeah, just a great game with uh, athletes all over the field. And uh, tonight, just. Uh, Millwood got. Millwood got, you know, outplayed, but I think, I think we've got, uh, I think we've got a few more. Maybe uh, athletes at some of the skill positions, Mark, and we looked a little bit looked a little bit more ready to play. Uh, right. if, if that, I mean, if that's yeah. fair. Well, I think athletically as well as uh, some of experience-wise, and then uh, just better just coaching. Just and man. fundamental, you yeah. know. Just lots of. Fun. I mean, you know, Millwood's going to have to improve. You know, they're going to have to improve with their, you know, with their snaps. You know, with their yeah. just their execution. They're a kicking game, right. uh, you know, is going to hurt them, or, or hopefully it won't, but uh, they need to shore that up. Um, and the Chargers, not to say, you know, Chargers have some stuff they can sure. obviously clean up too. I, I, issues. Co coaches, coaches are going to be – they're going to be happy with the score, but I can promise you the next time they practice – the, the boys are going to be like, now, wait a minute, did we win that game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because Didn't we shut them out? Didn't we shut them out? Because it's not going to it's not going to seem that way at practice, I can assure you. So uh, why don't you go run down there and uh, track down uh, somebody from the interview? defense. I think it could be Hardy Bowers that you're going to interview, but I'm not sure. And then, oh. and then uh, I can go through the game recap. Uh, so we started out uh, the first drive of the game, mixing it up. And uh, we ended up with a uh, drive down the field, the first series, 14-yard uh, throw from Jackson Job to Peyton Ernest uh, with a nice catch, and uh, that makes it 7-0 in the first quarter. Second quarter got a little more exciting. We had a one-yard run from Robert Imbro uh, at, uh, to score a touchdown. We had a failed two-point conversion, made it 13-0. Rick Hansen heading down there to do a little interview. And then uh, we had a Nick Keith interception, uh, gave a short field, and then Jagger Abels with a nice uh, four-yard catch from Jackson Job, And then it made it 20-0. to zero. 
And then uh, Jaden Williams with a great run, 26-yard run. Uh, cut it up to the right side, made it 27-0 right at halftime. And then uh, the Chargers got a little more conservative the second half and uh, only scored once on a 23-yard run. Colby Lewis, a nice run to the left side. It uh, turns on the Jets and uh, scores. Makes it 34-0, and that is our final score as the Heritage Hall Chargers are ringing the uh, Eddie Bell, the victory bell, and they played very well tonight. Defense with a shutout, and then uh, the offense uh, scored 34 points. Like I said, there's things to be cleaned up. I think the coaches will be pleased, but there's things we can work on and uh, make better for sure. Uh, some of the penalties, some of the substitution penalties, getting the plays in. We used a lot of timeouts just uh, out of uh, – I don't want to say panic, but uh, just out of potential trouble before we got a penalty. And uh, I think Coach Boger will uh, straighten it all out. Like I said, we've got a tough test against Clinton, the 4A team, uh, next year. They're playing him at our place, which is good news. So come out and support that. I definitely want to tell you about all the uh, festivities that are going on on the 50th uh, anniversary of Heritage Hall. Uh, everybody go to heritagehall.com slash hh50 to uh, find out what's going on. They've got the coaches uh, and former players Friday night. Then we've got the picnic on Saturday morning and then the gala on Saturday night. So definitely check that out. I know there's some reunions this weekend also. Um, I think Rick Hansing has gone down there to find uh, an interviewer, interviewee and go talk about how uh, tough the defense was. So I want to thank the Charger Vision crew. They do a great job. All the Students do the camera work and the uh, producing and directing. Keep up the good work. Uh, and then uh, I'm waiting for Rick Hansing. I'm waiting for someone to give me a clue that uh, they're ready for the interview. I don't know how close they are. I guess we'll go to a quick commercial and we'll come back with an interview of the defense. We're changing health care and our name. Now we are SSM Health St. Anthony. But who we are on the inside is still the same. A community of saints in action who have always been a part of SSM Health, making health care more accessible when and where you need it. SSM Health St. Anthony. We are saints in action. Welcome back to Pop Mary Memorial Field. I'm Mark Carlin. We've got Rick Hansing uh, down on the field looking for a, a defensive player to basically tell them what a great job they did tonight. Uh, they have a shutout of the Millwood Falcons, which is very hard to do. They're very uh, athletic and they're a good team, so we're very happy with that result. 34 to 0, you're here to tell Chargers with a victory. And now I'm waiting to I'm see. When they've got uh, them all set up, I see Philip Smitherman down there. He was our Fuzzies Taco feature player of the game, and he had a great game. And we are awaiting uh, Luke Stillman to uh, track down someone uh, with an interview just to talk about how strong the defense was. So once again, we've got uh, Clinton next week. Uh, they are playing him at home, so come out and support the Chargers. If you can't support them, watch it on Charger Vision. We'll be here. None of these players uh, want to uh, be interviewed by Rick Hansing. I don't know why they're so afraid of him. Once again, uh, Chargers 34, Millwood 0. Millwood had a few key injuries early that probably did not help their cause, but uh, they played hard. But, man, our defense was just too tough. Our offense played really well once they got worked out a few kinks uh, with a substitution pattern. Hey, 
our feature player of the game is was the defense basically because they played so strongly and shut out the Falcons. We're trying to find uh, what we think is Hardy Bowers or Connor Keith as they were both in the backfield a lot and had a lot of uh, many tackles. So Millwood is going to go back to the drawing board, and I'm sure they will be a force to be reckoned with throughout uh, the rest of the season. But they will. this will be a learning uh, opportunity for them, and things are going to work out some kinks. Uh, their quarterback took a lot of punishment tonight. I think they're going to have to start with some of the line play. But uh, they played tough, but they got hit all night. Our defense was everywhere. Do you want me on you on the interview or stay on the Eddie Bell? All right. I'm on you right now. Luke Steelman seemed to be walking this way uh, with Rick Hansing, and I don't think they have an interview. Oh, here they come. Here they come. All right. I'm about to throw it down to these guys. Rick Hansing, I think he's going to interview, and it looks like uh, it's going to be Hardy Bowers and Connor Keith. Both had excellent games on the defense. Uh, Hardy Bowers with many tackles tonight, and Connor Keith in the backfield, what seemed like all night. Uh, I'm sure they're going to ask him about his uh, little brother, Nick Keith's interception, which was outstanding. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw it down to Rick, who is interviewing uh, Hardy Bowers and Connor Keith. Are they ready for me down there? All right, I'm going to send it to them. Everybody have a good night. Uh, listen to Rick Hansen getting uh, the game to the Charger defense, but uh, two of the key cogs in that defense are senior linebackers, Hardy Bowers and Connor Keith. Connor, I'm going to start with you. Uh, people at home watching this interview can see the scoreboard. Maybe it's 34 nothing. Uh, is that come as a shock to you? No, not a shock at all. We prepared all week for this game. We knew what we needed to do, and our secondary really did their job. And I'm really proud of our D line and everyone out there. So. Uh, tell, tell me how I watched you blitz four plays in a row. Tell me how you were able to do that. Were you all not respecting the run game at all? <laughs> well, we respect the run game and we fill our uh, we fill our gaps. But Coach Adams uh, gives me a shot at the quarterback every now and then. And well, they, uh, leave it open. I I, well, kinda, I, I tell you what, it, it worked because uh, he was he was out of the game after about the fourth time. You got you and Will Dunn were pr pretty hard on him back there. Yes, sir. We don't want to injure anyone, but uh, we do play physical football. Yeah, I saw that. You were helping him up. You guys were being good sports. Hardy, let me turn to you. Uh, you did the same thing uh, from your linebacker spot. I saw you coming in several times with, with key penetration at key times of the game. Yeah, Coach said that this week he wanted to blitz a lot, and that's what we did. I mean, got free a couple of times, but, I mean, it was, it was a pretty good game. Caused pressure, and they threw picks. So. Well, we yeah, I watched a couple of your scrimmages, and it looked like the defense was ahead of the offense uh, when you all would get out on the field. But... Uh, really stood out tonight. Uh, why do you think that is? Uh, revenge game. I really, I think we were all passionate about this game, excited. And I mean, we came out and showed them what we're made of and that's that. Played some Charger football? Yes, showed, showed them what it was all about over on this yeah. side? Well, we don't, like I said, we don't give it to uh, the, we don't give it to the defense very often, but uh, you guys were two of the uh, main guys out there. But uh, when you get back to the locker room, give a big shout out to all the D, make sure they know that they were players of the game. But uh, uh, one more question to, for both of you. We got Clinton coming to town next week. Uh, that's always a hard-hitting game. What do you think about the tornadoes this year? Um, I mean, see any tape on them? We, we haven't watched film yet, but I was asking uh, Wesley about them. He said they're physical, like they always are, and they're going to be a good football team. So we definitely got to have a good week of practice and get ready for that game. Connor, what do you know about the tornadoes coming in? Uh, I know they're a physical football team. I know every year it's a battle, but uh, we like it. All right. Sounds like these guys are ready for next week. So uh, we're going to wrap this up. But uh, players of the game and the D Charger defense pitching a shutout tonight, 34-0 over the Millwood Falcons. We'll see you next week.